Uh, is Terraria broken? Uh oh. Uh, is Terraria broken? Well, we're live anyway. Are we good? Sounds like we're good. Fantastic. All right, let's continue with Don't Dig Up. Uh, which save was it? This one? And this one. Fantastic. All right, so last time, let's see. We explored the surface a bit. We got to a sky island. Got some feathers. Um, oh, I got a shiny red balloon. And now we have a proper double jump. Oh, that feels so much better. Probably don't need the triple jump. Uh, especially now that we've got a blizzard in a balloon plus lightning boots. I was probably just wearing it for the armor. This feels a bit more natural. Much better. Uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, that'll be some decent damage reduction. I need to kill the Eater of Worlds again to get a better roll on this, or I could just pay for it. How much money do we have? Uh, while we're paying attention, let's get this Moon Glow harvested. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think we need that much Shiverthorn, to be honest. And, in fact, let's harvest this as well. Do we have a... Uh... Why is this not working? Uh, do we have some Fire Blossom Seeds? We've got lots of Fire Blossom Seeds. Uh, let's go place them down here. Complete the set. And I might have to go ahead and remove the rest of this Shiver Thorn. We've well and truly got more than enough of that now. Fantastic. Alright, may as well harvest the Shiver Thorn. And after that, I won't bother until most of them are blooming all at the same time. All good. Let's check the other side as well while we're at it. We got Blinkroot. Oh crap, I killed some. Always be looking for an, uh, a chance to expand the blink root farm. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's just a chest. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is a cool, creepy chest. I want more. And we'll take these money squirrels as well. Alright, what do we got here? Corrupt water fountain. I think we can probably... Lovely. Uh, we need to stash away our gravestone markers so that we can make a biome, a graveyard biome. Where am I going to put them? Probably with statues for now. And then... Uh, we've got everything we need to make... To make the final boots, almost. I need water walking boots. Where's the guide? Uh, we need ice skates first. Um, I definitely don't have any ice skates, or I definitely would have upgraded this already. Where's our accessories? I think I had them all in a chest. Oh, I know. I probably put them in here. Fantastic. 
Yeah, we definitely need to find some ice skates. Alright. I think I'll put the cloud in a bottle here as well. And how much does it cost to reforge this thing? If I'm going to wear the worm scarf, I'm going to want it to be warding. Or at least... Plus two defense? Eh... We've only got 23 gold. I think I'll just make do with this for now. And if I want better, I'll kill the wall of flesh again. Wall of flesh? Uh, I'll kill the Eater of Wilds again. Alright, let's put our... I need another Blood Moon. We still don't have the, uh, the piggy bank thing. Uh, the money trough. Occasional potions can go in here. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got some clouds. Oh, I think I needed the clouds... No. No, I think... We can make a snow cloud. We need cold weather. Interesting. Um, I think that was Calamity, where clouds were used to make, like... Uh, balloons or something. Um, but I'll put this away in the building materials, nevertheless. That is a lot of scorpions. Oh yeah, we got a water candle here so that more critters will spawn. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, quick stack and bait goes in here. How much bait do we have? Quite a lot of bait, including the uh, the weakest of it. I think I was keeping. Magma Snails, we've got 15, and they're actually incredibly easy to come by. Oh, I forgot about this sword. That's amazing. Alright, uh, are we just about done getting our bearings again? Just put stuff away. And then go looking for some ice skates. I think we need five or six uh, gravestones in order to make a, a biome. Okay, uh, cloud goes in building materials. Archery potion goes in occasional potions. Where am I keeping my building materials? Here they are. Uh, moon glow seeds, we've got quite enough of already. But I'll stash them in here so we can quick stack them easily. Feathers. We got 25 feathers. Uh, which we need to make... Well, we're not making wings yet. Uh, I wonder... I wonder if I can even get wings before hard mode with this. Uh, Grav Potion needs... Deathweed is the main problem. I need to start a farm for Deathweed. Uh, and Featherfall Potion. Okay. So basically, if I want the Wombo Combo, we need two Feathers. Uh, let's go. Sell some Dynamite. Or maybe... I think I'll stash the Dynamite. Save it up. Can we get a fishing quest? Glowing mushroom fields. We've seen enough of those. But where can we find water? A goblin army is approaching. It took ages to get a goblin army to appear on this save. Uh, and by the time they did, they were very, very easy to deal with. Um, I just want to find a glowing mushroom biome with water. At the moment. Maybe up here? Yeah... I think all of the other glowing mushroom biomes are gonna be... full of lava. I could buy a bunch of wet bombs to make a, a fishing place, um, but they're kind of expensive. 
One gold for four wet bombs. That's a bit rich for my tastes at this stage of the game. Oh, great. I can't use the pylon network. Uh, Grav and Featherfall potions can go in here for now. I just found my first diamonds. Nice. Literally the best gems. Uh, make, make gem cones out of them. It would be my recommendation. So you can, you can get infinite diamonds. I'm not liking how slow, it's powerful, but I'm not liking how slow this sword is. Yeah, it's really awkward. It's very powerful, but it's very awkward, this sword is. Oop, that didn't work. Um, maybe I should just use the mini shark. Yeah, that feels better. Oh, uh, Vilethorn is really good against the goblin army. And it's free. All right, we got some spiky balls getting started here. I'm still getting my bearings again. I should maybe play this a bit off stream to warm up next time. I'm not playing Terraria that much lately, so it's uh, it's an adjustment all over again. Let's get the spiky balls going in the lowest point. I like how he teleported and just instantly died. I need more powerful spells. What is the best spell I can get at this point? Probably the bee gun, if I want to kill the queen bee. Which I could have if I'd been a bit more cautious. Uh, last time. Just barely lost. Oh, sorry about the noise. There's nothing I can do about that. I would reach for the mute button, but my hands are full right now. Noisy plane day. Okay, what the hell. Uh, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to check this out. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the house is apparently not on fire, so that's good. Is the flink stuff good? It's very good for how early you can get it. Um, it's definitely one of the better summons in pre-hard mode anyway. Although we do have the imp stuff, which I forgot about. 
the uh, the imps fireballs pierce practically everything. So uh, in the right circumstance like this, it's very very good. Is your house okay? Yeah, it, it appears so. I I hope. I think it was probably some idiot smoking or something. Alright, that's the end of the goblin army. Pick up the loot. Hello, butterfly. How good is a butterfly? It's only 15% bait power. Uh, we got... Fox mask, yay. Rotten eggs, get out of here. I don't need banners for the goblin army. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna make the mistake of collecting them. Although, I guess that was calamity that there were way too many things to collect banners for. But I don't feel like going to the trouble of finding storage space for them. Uh, let's put the spiky balls somewhere like here. I really wish I had a way to trigger the Blood Moon. Because it's been... It, it's like day 1060 and we still have no money trough. And it hurts. Alright, let's try getting... I, I think I had a... I have Cthulhu spawn somewhere, but we don't really need that. It's the worm stuff that I, sorry, the worm scarf that I want a better one of. I could go break some, uh, some pots again. Do I have food? I've got a little bit of food. Okay. Uh, so let's go looking for... Wait, do I have any... Spelunker potions. Yes, we do. Alright, so we got Shine, Night Owl, Swiftness, Spelunker, Regen, and so on. Mostly the Spelunker that I'm interested in at the moment. And... Let's see what we can find. Try to cover as much ground as I can while we've got this potion active. Uh, I don't need any more hearts. I mean, I could make a few... Uh, oh! Well, if it's going to be that easy, I'll grab it. Uh, I could make a few more heart lanterns, but that's about it. I thought I saw chests there. Unfortunate. Uh, rail, though. Rail means we can cover a lot of ground. And there's something we're looking for. I hope. And there's a sneaky, a sneaky little slime. I think I, the Flinks is actually doing a bit better in most circumstances. Ruthless Ice Bow. It'd be hard to get that early enough for it to be good. That That's the real measure of an item. Is how good is it compared to how early you can get it. And what's this? Lime Kelp. Why is there Lime Kelp in the Ice Biome? Ugh, so slow. Oh, more chests. Double chest. What does it mean? Uh, we got an ice boomerang. Not too excited about that. Uh, I think that might be our first extractinator. So that's good. Unless I'm wrong. Um, I'll go get that heart. If I can get up again. Oh, we're still doing the Halloween stuff. 
Rip ice. Alright, I'm not seeing... I think that's another demon altar. Ooh. Okay, that's a big enough canyon to bother with. Canyon? Kevin. Uh, we need some bombs in here. I didn't know hearts gave out such a purplish light. Or maybe they didn't before. Um, what are we dropping? Probably rope? Glow sticks? Ow. And here's a house. Alright, what do you got for me? Blizzard in a bottle is great, but the second one is not so exciting. Um, alright, I need to organize my inventory a bit here. Uh, we've got way more than enough Shiver Thorn at home. Uh, lesser healing potions I should upgrade. Flaming arrows are not so good. Fantastic. Uh, I can stash this here. And then... Can we... Infinite spawn the skeletons? No, I think a player has to step on the... Ow, ow, ow! Oh, there's a red one as well. There's two touch plates here. Sneaky. Okay. Nope, stop it. There we go. Um, shackle? I guess. Oh, ice torches. Get out of here. We've got infinite ice torches. Okay, let me just fix this light so we know we've been here. There's three statues lying around. Uh, rope. I might just portal back in a sec. How much time do we have on this Palanca? Seven seconds. I feel I wasted it a little bit. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Alright, back to spawn. Quick stack. This can go... Could you get out of the way of that chest? Bruh. I can't... There we go. Wait, there's two slimes. Sue and Sputnik. Well, isn't that nice? Any more accessories here? Hasty bottle, lizard in a bottle. Um, I might just shove these in here for now. Statues over here. Uh, we did have an extractinator actually. And occasional potions. Do those actually give off light? Gem bunnies. Alright, let's upgrade these healing potions. Um, like so. Sell this. I don't think we even have a die trader, do we? Probably not. Um, I guess I'll just put the die things in here for now. Alright. Uh, now I don't have a Spelunker potion. It's going to be a lot harder to look for ice gates this way. Wait, where, are we, where am I going? I definitely want to preserve this fishing spot. So let's not dig straight through there.
Uh, I should have brought the pea bank. A mining potion would have felt better there, but luckily we didn't need it, really. There's our rail. Alright, let's try to the right. Oh, I completely forgot about that fishing quest. It's probably too late now. I didn't bring a watch with me, so I can't tell. Oh, the blood moon! Hell yes. Alright, um... No, I can come back to this. I've been waiting for the blood moon for ages. Do we have a battle potion? Uh, I think not. Let's place some more water candles. I'll get a, I'll get a little bit away from the town and place a water candle. So that we can maximize spawns here. Increase our chances of getting the two items we're still looking for. Triple banner, go. Not all of them have the Halloween costumes. Bloody tear. Alright, at least we can repeat it. At least once. I need a luck buff. Um, I don't know where I'm going to get a garden gnome from on this... Uh, on this seed. I think we got some oysters, though. I could make a luck potion, maybe. Wait, no, we've got uh, pearls. That's what I meant. We've got the pearls, but we don't have any ladybugs. Maybe if I visit a town in the forest biome? At night? We're looking for money trough, which the blood zombies and dripplers can drop. Uh, and we're looking for... Shark tooth necklace, which gives us plus five armor pierce. Which makes the mini shark a hell of a lot more effective. And if we can get two, that's even better, because they can stack with the uh, upgrade of themselves. I keep going too far to the left and away from our uh, water candles. Let's move one over here. If I can get a chance to place one. There we go. So this nothing to obstruct the enemies coming to me on both sides and we got a water candle i don't have any battle potions so this is the best spawn rate we're gonna get if i can kill them faster they'll spawn faster as well should probably be using the rifle the musket for this range grenade They tend to bunch up, which is rather helpful with the sword. Alright, um, after this, I'm going to go get some Deathweed. 
We need that for a couple of potions, including Battle Potion, I'm pretty sure. If not Deathweed, uh, we probably also need um, Rotten Chunks. Everything's red on red, it's a little hard to see. Mox, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, we're getting some money, but that's about it, really. Until we get one of those two drops. Don't tell me we can't get them on this seed. Surely we've just been having bad luck. I don't know why you would not give people the money trough or the shark tooth necklace um, on the don't dig down seed. Uh, don't dig up seed. I think I hear a mimic. Yeah, I do. Alright, that's worth dropping the spawn rate for a moment. Maybe I should use grenades because uh, too much armor. There we go. What did we get? A mace. That's terrible, actually. That's incredibly disappointing. There's our shark tooth necklace. Okay, so we're just looking for a money trough now. Uh, let's put the shark tooth necklace here and do significantly more damage with the mini shark. Fantastic. Grenade. That sword is insane. Yeah, it's it's a chunker. I think they changed it a bit. Wait, volcano? Wasn't it called fiery greatsword, or did I find it somewhere else? I thought I made this out of hellstone. We got a. Oh, that's just a banner. I prefer a faster sword myself, but this is very strong for the moment. Well, um, we're probably going to have to do another, another Blood Moon to try to get our money trough yet again. Before I trigger it manually, I'll check if there's a way we can boost our luck. Oh wait, torches? Yeah, 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 I think uh, biome torches will give us a small luck boost. I don't know how many we need. I think it's just a few. And that's another bloody tear. And two... Okay, we got three bloody tears this blood moon. We should... Four even. We should definitely be able to keep up... You know, even even if we roll poorly one night or three, um, we should be able to be net positive on bloody tears if we need to keep doing the blood moon. But really, I just want to be done with the Blood Moon. Just give me that damn money trough already. No money trough. Feels bad. Alright.
Now let's see if we have a way to boost our luck. Um, I think there's a pearl that I hoarded somewhere. But I'm pretty sure we don't have ladybugs. And we need both of those to make a luck potion. Shuckled oyster. Did I not keep it here? No. Really wish Vanilla had a boss checklist. I'm feeling a bit lost on what to do next. That's not the that's not a bad point actually, yeah. How much gold do we have now? 59, not bad. We could go through it pretty quickly if we're not careful, but that's uh, pretty much a new scale of money so far for this run. Alright, so we need to go get some Deathweed. Um, I'll go ahead and sell this mace. I think... Yeah, Anklet of the Wind is... Well, I'll keep it here. Then again, I think I'll... I, I might end up needing the space to pick up something else, so... I'll stash this stuff over here for now. Um, and we don't really need a lava proof fishing hook because our most common bait can be used in lava, so I'm not too worried about that. Why is there a seagull here? This seed is so weird. Alright, let's go check out where this rail goes. Shouldn't have come this way, I'm gonna get cold. Nope. And we're chilled. Rip. Rip my movement speed. What kind of gems are these? Oh, the green. Emerald. Okay. Alright, Rail, what do you got for me? What else have you got for me, I should say? Nothing immediately obvious. And we're chilled. How did we not run across that? I hate not having ice skates. What do we have down here, I wonder? I still broke the ice? Bruh. Such a long... Such a huge cavern as well. Alright, I heard that ice trap, but I don't care. What's that? What do we have over here? Hi, hi. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, up this way, perhaps? No. Well, there's a... There's another blank area in here, but... I'm not seeing any chests. I think I'll come back this way when I have a Spelunker potion again. But for now, let's go somewhere where we know we can get a certain... Oh, we don't have any emeralds. Let's get started with emeralds, shall we? Not that we really need them, but... We can complete the set one day.
All right, emerald. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Grab that blink root whenever we can. And sell this crap. Alright, so bloody tear. Do I have a chest for like summoning things? Probably not. I think I might go back to using the Blade of Grass, to be honest. Yeah, that feels much better, and it can hit things through walls. Alright, I guess this will be our summoning chest. Throw these banners down. Because I can't be bothered finding a place for them. Now then. I could do a little honey fishing to get some proper health potions. Sky lakes and surface, that's kind of harsh. At least we have a fishing spot on the surface now. Although... Oh, I might be able to get gnomes up here. Maybe that's a bit hopeful. Maybe we'd have to hit it with the Clentiminator to turn it to forest first. Uh, but yeah, let's grab ourselves the decent but not that good bait. And I already have some honey fin, actually. Six is more than enough for a boss fight. I'll just hold on to those. Um, but I think I'll put them in here so they're easy to find. Okay. Maybe I should take the Lava Absorbent Sponge with me. Cleaning up the lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaning up the lava in the ice biome is going to make it a lot less... Uh, what's the word? Terrifying? Oh, wow. That's so fast. Get out of here, lava. Uh, I can't actually accidentally step on this lava, so I don't care. Fantastic. Can I move? There we go. Oh, wow. We found the nymph and the unconscious man right next to each other. Yeah, I definitely like the responsiveness of that sword a lot better. have a metal detector. I think we already had that, though. Um, Eternia Crystal wouldn't be the worst idea. Are there any items we can get from this that are... Well, we can get a sentry, at least. Whatever. It's, it's probably worth doing a few times. Uh, and I need... Oh, he gave us ten Defender Medals. I think he used to just give us five to get started. Uh, so we can take any two of these sentries. I think it's going to be... Well, honestly, everything except for the Flame Burst is decent. I think I'll go for the Lightning Aura Rod. Because once we can cast that anywhere, we can use it to illuminate... Yeah, that alone is is worth uh, worth the trouble of doing the Eternia Crystal. 
Uh, explosive trap is decent, but it's noisy. I'll take the ballista rod instead. Oh, it's Tim. I think we already killed Tim, actually. Yeah, I've got his hat in my, uh, in my piggy bank. Okay. Not interested in you right now. Let's put these things together so we don't lose them. I should probably just put this on, like, slot 6 or something, temporarily. Okay, to the right. Uh, slot 6. There we go. Hmm, I don't know, it's kind of hard to fall in here, relatively. I might not bother with that. And then... I have to keep muting. Hopefully they'll be done with the noise demonstration in like a few minutes. That's not an ice torch. Uh, trash that. There we go. Which way are we going? Doesn't really matter. Is that platinum? It is platinum. Beautiful. We need that to make... Uh, oh, come to think of it, I probably have everything I need to make Spelunker potions. Is that... No, that's just silver. Although, I'm using silver for bullets, so let's grab that as well. Um, the ice is... The, the ice with lava is making me a little bit nervous, though. Can I not? There we go. Uh, let's see. I'll use some bombs from up here. What? Why is there a ghost? Bad ghost. Alright, let's get some sticky bombs so I don't miss the mark. Good enough. Now. And very, very carefully pick up the silver and be gone. Fantastic. Not interested. Alright. We still have some inventory space. Uh, let's get ourselves... Oh, I left the piggy bank here. Fantastic. Alright, uh, so we're looking for deathweed. It would be better if we had deathweed seeds. Burger. Nom nom nom. Uh, and we're looking for monster wheat. There's monster wheat? Monster meat as well. And I need to watch out for falling stars because they will kill me in one hit. I see... that's not Deathweed up there. That's uh, Shiverthorn. This sword is incredibly good at keeping the Eater of Worlds... Uh, Eater of Souls' is at bay. Wow. Yeah, I definitely like this better overall. Is that Deathweed? It is... Um, I don't think I can deliberately go and get the item that tells us the phase of the moon. I think that might be what... Uh, oh, I know. I could activate... I don't think I have it on me, though. 
Uh, but I could activate the Blood Moon to get Deathweed to bloom. Did we ever get to the ocean? We did. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to come back with a gills potion. I think we're going to get ourselves uh, water walking boots. And I do have them. Fantastic. Let's go get some... Uh, some of our ingredients for the ultimate boots. And if we see any deathweed on the way, grab that. It's actually quite a lot. It's just unfortunate we're not going to get seeds. Hello, hello. Uh, Dilka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh, that's a start. I, I have not learned to fear the stars yet, but I really should have. Ouch. Can, can I get just, like, a moment to place this stupid banner and leave? No? Oh my god. Please. Just one minute. I beg. I beg you. Oh my god. Why are there so many? It's like I'm using a battle potion. You know what? I probably shouldn't be up here without using uh, Iron Skin and Regen potions. At least we're getting plenty of monster meat. I still haven't learned to fear the stars. I should really learn to fear the stars. Sounds exactly like something out of the Cthulhu mythos. Alright, let's, uh, let's not linger as much. That seems bad. What, why didn't my dash go off? Ravna. I'll come off it. Alright, we're gonna hide in this little cave for a minute. Ooh, a water chest. It's not trapped, is it? An inner tube. Wow. Glad I... Glad I stopped here. Thank goodness for that. Let's drop the Eater of Souls banner. And... What now? Put down this... Shove some of these things in here. We'll probably sell the wizard hat. We're not going to pick up any more silver or platinum while we're on this trip. Um, what else? I think that's about it, really. Oh, and the Attorney of Crystal stuff can go in here. Alright, that helps a lot. Uh, so let's loot this chest. Now the suspicious looking eye is definitely welcome. Just shove this over here, and uh, this will do, I guess. Let's get going. Oh my goodness! Wow, that—that's a lot of—that's a lot of eaters. Did I get? I've still got three minutes on the first burger. They seem to drop the burgers more often, or maybe it's just that there's so many more of them. Alright. Deathweed? How 
How many rotten chunks do we have? Only 17? For all of that? Make it 18. Uh, we got 17 deathweed though, that's not too bad. If we just had some seeds, that would be even better. How far have we gone? Oh, the damage over time gives them away. That's nice. After we hit a worm with this. Alright, up we go. Give, give me that money. Give me that deathweed. Give me that survival. Give me that mushroom. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not liking this spot at all. Okay. Can can we can we leave actually? I'm not even gonna try to collect everything. There's just gonna be more and more stuff on that spot in the ground. Uh, on the ground. Okay. A bit smoother sailing from here. Ouch. And we're back to the endless, bottomless canyons. Devourer banner. That's our 25th. Seems you don't have to kill 50 uh, to get a banner these days. You just went straight through my sword? How dare you. I don't actually have a health potion right now. Now I do. Uh, I, I don't like being blind. Okay, cool. Didn't want to waste all my buff potions, though, for that moment. Hey! We found a headstone. Isn't that nice? Alright. Should probably put the banners here so I can place them quickly. How far are we? Okay, we're almost there. It's a long journey. When you're constantly attacked by 50 Eater of Souls at the same time. It seems like there's not as many of them out here, but I could be... Yep, I could be wrong. I was going to say it could be variants. I didn't even consider that there were that many of them chasing me, and I just can't see them. This is darker than normal Terraria night, right? I could be wrong about that. Alright, we need to find a little bit of space uh, to put down our piggy bank so that we can cons uh, we can grab our gills potion. There's an ocean. Indeed there is. I literally just want to pick up my gills potion. Please. Please give me four seconds. There we go. Um, do we need anything else? I don't think I have a flipper potion. I do have a flipper somewhere... Um, but I'm obviously not going back for it now. Oh, I forgot to be scared of stars. I really need to learn to fear the stars. Maybe I should make some peace candles and or calming potions. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the gills potion we're interested in right now. Alright, let's head out.
Why fear the stars? Do they hurt now? Uh, no, they don't hurt at all because they kill you instantly. Oh, I think I saw coral. I'll be needing some of that. But I don't want to waste too much time because the... The gills potion only lasts four minutes. I think. And I don't want to lose too much health before I drink this. Uh, Skull Industries? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get ourselves a Night Owl Potion as well. Um, may as well take food buffs and stuff. I do not want to be unprepared for something and then have to do this entire journey again. This thing really goes far. Okay, here we go. Water walking boots. That's what we came for. And then... I didn't realize I'd have space to place the piggy bank down here. I really wish I brought it with me. The different prof uh, loadouts don't give us more room for the pet. Alright, so what are we dropping? Devourer banner? That's actually kind of hard to come by. I thought it was uh, the other kind of banner. Uh, lesser healing potion? Give me the platinum. Uh, get rid of the throwing knives. I want the thorns potion. I especially want the water walking potion. Uh, we don't need the goodie bags. And one vile mushroom isn't worth leaving anything behind. Oh, and I definitely don't care about the sandcastle bucket. Alright, can we perhaps get all the way back up? How much time do we have left? Oh, we've actually got three minutes left. Uh, it's it's going to be a bit slow, though. But I do want to try and grab some more coral. And preferably... Well... I guess I'll just buy another piggy bank. It's definitely not worth the trouble of bringing that back. And having one near the ocean isn't bad. Speaking of which, I should really do the, uh, the blood moon again. So that we can finally get the, the money trough. So where was that coral? Boots can go in loadout though? Uh, good point. Good point. Why am I not... Oh, my loadout's wrong. That's why I'm not moving fast or dashing and stuff. I gotta watch out for that. I heard a star. That's terrifying. Alright, give me all this coral. Uh, that's just a starfish. That's... I mean, it's, it's nothing of value as far as I can... You're coming off the edge. Oh my god. Wow, that looks so much... Part of me didn't understand that I was zoomed in and I thought it was an even bigger, scarier eater of souls. Um... Alright, let's get up here. Wait, no, I need more coral. Especially while we've got the gills potion. Give it to me. So they can spawn underwater even though they can't get down here from above. Bruh. This is a pretty good spot to farm them though. We're getting burgers with ridiculous consistency. Probably just because we're getting Eater of Souls's with ridiculous consistency. Alright, we got what we came for. Actually, well yeah, we got Death... Wo uh, Deathweed, Rotten Chunks, and Water Walking Boots. Um, the only other thing I could do while I'm here is look for... Sky Islands, but my inventory is too full. I believe we are one item away from getting Terra Spark Boots now. 
and that is Ice Gates. Molten Charm, Obsidian... Ro yeah, we can make the Lava Waders. Let's do that. Uh, let's quick step first. This goes in here. Why is there a painting in here? I forgot I had the sand gun. I guess putting it where I keep sand makes a lot of sense. If I have to make more sand, it'll be here. Uh, we'll sell... Put the headstones here. Sell that. Sell that. Should have kept it, actually. Occasional potions go in the piggy bank. Uh, pick this stuff up again. We've got a whopping two suspicious looking eyes. Alright, quick stack. And I think I will start making a collection of certain banners. Okay. I thought we had a metal detector lying around. We did. And... Could, could you get out of the way, please? There we go. Obsidian Rose, Molten Charm, Water Walking Boots, and a Tinkerer's Workshop. Give us the Lava Waders. We can now walk on any fluid. And we got seven seconds of immunity to lava. Uh, that's freaking huge on this save. But I don't want to use up a whole other inventory slot for it, necessarily. Um, so the sooner... I'm pretty sure literally the only thing we need now um, to get the ultimate boots is ice skates. Let's see if we can make a uh, Spelunker Potion. Probably would have been quicker if I'd asked him about platinum. Here it is. Uh, blink root, moon glow, and gold or platinum. So it's actually blink root that's the most precious um, for making spelunker potions. Blink root used to be incredibly common. Nowadays it's hard to get a farm started, but once you get enough, it's quite easy. All right. Whoops. Alright, so let's make ourselves some spelunkers. Why can't I make spelunkers? Oh, because I stacked away the platinum. I'll take gold, actually. We're not going to make the gold bars. In fact... No, I'm just going to make seven spelunker potions. Alright, cool. So we got vision, vision, vision. And I think that'll do it. I'd like to stash away the burgers. Uh, probably in here, actually. We'll save those for boss fights, along with the honey fins. Oh, before I do go looking for the ice skates, let's make the lightning aura rod work. So we're going to need some Eternia crystals... Arguably some sentries. And... Uh, how about this? Seems good. Okay. Would, would you stop killing critters? Thank you. Now we go find a s nice flat spot. That's very flat, actually. Uh, Mandarin XE32, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A top hat. I never did do that fishing either. Let's do this first. So, the reason I'm doing this before looking for the ice skates is. This, uh... Oh, that wasn't as far as I thought. 
Uh, this sentry will let us peek into the various chasms and such. This is bigger than I realized. Give me that ash block. And we're good. All right. We need some sentry over here. Go kill the ones on the right. Drop another sentry as soon as we can. Might have to go back already, actually. Nope, oh, we're good. Oh, I need an imp. That's going to be way better. In fact, I should switch to the uh, the armor that gives me more minions for this. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Actually, I don't know. Usually I have like uh, three imps or more for this. It might actually be hard to finish this with the gear I have. I'm pretty sure the boss always comes from the left, so that's probably the last sentry I'll put on this side. start putting, uh, what are they called, ballistas down? There's flying things, I forgot. I think there's flying things. Not this wave, I guess. I need something piercing. It's kind of weak, though. I think the sword's better. Okay, yeah, the uh, ballista rod is piercing. At least one more on this side. It's probably a good idea. Wave four. If this is wave four of five, we should probably be fine, actually. I gotta watch out for the flying things over here, though. didn't stop it. Oh, really? You just don't care about getting hit, huh? Once you actually start attacking. They're a lot weaker when they haven't gotten in range yet. Ten seconds. Plenty of time. We can place two more. Pretty sure the boss will be here. If not, I've just wasted my sentries.
should probably use the musket actually. That's pretty reliable. If I can hit them. There we go. Oh, and there's the boss. Oh, he's already almost dead. There we go. Alright, so we got a whopping five defender medals for that, but more importantly, uh, we can now use the lightning rod whenever we want. We're the lightning aura rod, which, as you can see, gives us a little bit of illumination. And it doesn't need line of sight to be placed. Gonna be very handy uh, when we're looking for... looking for loot underground. Okay. I need to build more NPC homes, but I don't feel like it. Let's... Oh. You actually moved in here, huh? Alright. Don't really see anything I want to buy anyway. Wait. He doesn't actually sell anything new if you beat Wave 5 in pre-hard mode. That's pretty lame, actually. Alright, I'll put this here. We'll put the Ballista Rod away. Uh, let's see. That is for the bug net. Um, I guess... Give me some chest. I'll use the dead men's for all of the Eternia crystal related things over here. Stack away all the stuff, sell the top hat. Good evening, JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Eater of Sol... I don't really need the Lava Absorbent Sponge right now. Eater of Sol... Is that... No, it's a Lava Fly. Silly me. I got excited thinking it was a Ladybug for a second. I should probably make a large enough town in the forest. I think we need at least three NPCs. Um, before... Critters like Ladybugs might show up. Where would be a good place for it? Probably here? And then we have a fishing spot for that biome that we can teleport to. Uh, I don't have a quick stack for blink root seeds because we're placing them whenever we can. I don't know where I put the... Maybe I, maybe I placed them all. Uh, the planter boxes. Give me that. All right. And then zoom out. And then quick stack and hopefully find that we did have blink root planters. Nope, we did not. Actually, maybe not hopefully, because that means I've wasted. That would mean I've wasted more. I'll put these in with the uh, ocean ingredients. Hey, Westu. Thanks for the lurk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should I re-roll the mini shark? That's really expensive for the marginal improvement we'd get out of it. Um, we 
need another blood moon. Wasn't there something else I wanted to do first? Oh yeah, we want to look for ice skates. Alright, first I want to travel to where that rail is. So we can cover more ground quickly. I keep coming down this way. Oh wait, we've got... We've got lava waders. Yes. Oh, that feels nice. Get out of here, cold water. You have no power here. Okay. Wait, is that a chest? No, I don't think it is. Uh, let's get our Spelunker Potion fired up. Start looking for some chests. What was that? Uh, that is just a snail statue, actually. Not too excited about that one. Did I go down there before? I did. Because this is a dead end. Wouldn't mind trying to dig through here though real quick. Oops. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Zero, one, two. Three. Okay, it's like three seconds. Uh, I don't think this actually connects anywhere. I probably should have checked first. Yeah, that's why we just did that Eternia crystal thing. Um, I don't have a mining potion on me, so I don't really feel like trying to go that way. This thing's quite effective with a Night Owl Potion as well. Oh, there's hearts down there. I'm gonna check out this one. Ow. Rude. Oh, there's a chest. There's two chests. Alright, big money. I don't know if it has to be in a... Nope, there it is. I didn't think it had to be in a house. But we got our ice skates. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. May as well pick up that heart. Fantastic, indeed. Uh... I really want to make the best boots, but I also want to explore a bit further while I'm already here. It's that room that we saw earlier. Okay. We got ice skates. Lightning boots. By your powers combined, frost spark boots. By your powers combined, terror spark boots. Light, super fast running, extra mobility on ice. Doesn't break ice, is what that means as well. Uh, walk on water, honey, and lava. Seven seconds of immunity to lava reduces damage from touching lava. Fan, and furthermore, tastic. Uh, I'm definitely going to want those to be warding, but my god, the scale of paying for a reroll for this part of the game, it would literally, I would literally get two rerolls before we've run out. So I'll definitely settle for plus two defense instead. The ones you got at least have two defense, indeed. Kind of lucky. Um... I don't really need an ice blade at this stage. Ooh, 
Where was I keeping banners? Here we go. So now we need a uh, money trough. What time is it? 7 a.m. Literally the worst time to want to be wanting to summon the blood moon almost. Sell this. Oh, that's the free money guy. And then... And then? Wait, why am I still holding gray pl pressure plates? Oh, because I haven't been in the dungeon yet. Weirdly, I thought I had. Okay. I'd really like to get wings before I try fighting Skeletron. So pretty soon I want to look for those. Uh, how much money do I even have? 88 gold. Creaking towards our first platinum. Very good. Uh, so... So what? How much defense is this? 33 versus 25. The next thing I wanted to do... was what, actually? Blood Moon. But since we have to wait for that, I wanted to do some fishing. Caught in underground and caverns. Uh, I need a specific item to ex to tell me explicitly what biome we're in. And I think it's the depth meter, and we don't have it. Yeah. I can't I can't tell officially technically uh which biome we're in. What can we combine a flipper with? I haven't seen a single uh frog gear. Uh like frog flipper uh fro frog leg is what I'm trying to say. Diving gears are going to be kind of hard to find when we can't get sharks the usual way. I think I saw a shark in the jungle, actually. We could try killing Queen Bee again. But yeah, I was thinking more of frog gear. Pretty much just the jump speed is really good. Mobility is very important if we're not going to build an arena. Which I prefer not to. Alright. Uh, why don't we go looking for trouble in the jungle? I'm going to have to find another hive to summon the queen bee. Like, technically, I can do it without. But... It's probably going to be more of a pain that way. Armed zombie? Is that really what they call it? Oh, that's corruption again. Yuck. Where are we going? Maybe I should put the... The guide to peaceful coexistence is actually bothering me some of the time when I'm not automatically breaking pots and uh, vines. It's more of a nuisance, I feel like. So can we buy another guide to critter companionship and just use that instead most of the time? Uh, it's better when we don't want to, like, accidentally break uh, plants like this. But, like, that's about it. And we've got almost all of the plants we're looking for now. I'll put this in the piggy bank. And then... 
without trying, we can smash pots and vines and stuff again. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I was going to do some fishing here as well. Because we need ammo reservation potions. It's not the most urgent thing. I'll take any more of these while I can get them. Hello, what's this? Nothing too exciting right now. Jellyfish statue, I think we can get glow sticks out of that. Which we could just buy anyway. What do we have here? Oh no. That hurt. And why is there a crab here? Uh, what do we got? Boomstick? That's actually pretty good. Um, although I think maybe I prefer the mini shark at this point. Uh, I'll drop the rope. We can always buy that. And the moon glow. Oh, I should probably heal, huh? Not so good running around on less than 100 health. Ow. Alright. Remind yourself about overconfidence. Fantastic. Give me those vines. How am I on 21 health? Wait, what? Uh, was I poisoned or something? Let's go back. Hello there, that sink. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Iridescent brick. I don't think that's any good, actually. Um, we could maybe re-roll the sluggish boomstick. It'll be cheap because it's got a crap roll. Slow. Frenzying. That's like the worst thing I want uh, for a boomstick. Nimble. Really? Sluggish. Awful. Ruthless. Since when does Ruthless go to 21% damage? How many bullets does this fire? Four? I think it's four. Or oh, it's three or four, it looks like. I don't think that many times they happen to overlap perfectly. Okay. Let's put away the statues. Can we quick stack? No. And sell the jungle torches. What time is it? 4 p.m. Let's do that fishing quest real quick. Underground and caverns. That means we can fish there, but I need water. Uh, should we make a fishing spot down here? I think we probably should. I don't know if this counts as underground or forest, to be honest. Alright, let's get like 20 of these and see if that's enough to make a fishing spot. An owl? Uh, where are we going to make a fishing spot? Probably over here. Just 
just to the right of our little artificial desert. Seems good. Why does it roll so much? There we go. I literally just said. Alright. Let's see how much water this is. For a second there, I thought it was way more than expected. Uh... Oh, it's... It's disappearing. That was a complete waste. Does that mean we can't get a fishing spot in the caverns? But I'm sure we fished up... Uh... No, we we did fish up a armored cave fish before. Why? Because it's the underworld. Yeah. That normally happens in the underworld, but I thought this would be considered a different biome. Um, I, I mean, I could put lava here if I want to do lava. I, I wonder if that would work. I'd be very amused if that would work. What am I doing? Uh, let's grab ourselves more wet bombs. Say 20. And I'm going to make those into dry bombs, which I can then turn into uh, lava bombs. Okay. And I'm not going to throw them all quite so quickly to see how much how many tiles of lava we get out of these. Alright, so that's like... How much, actually? One, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, approximately? So we would need, uh, let's see, I think about 18 times that if we wanted to make a good size lava fishing area. Alternatively, I could use pumps, but I can't do that because I don't have the mechanic. Alternatively, I could make a trip with buckets 300 times. Uh, I guess I'm just not going to do that just yet. There is actually a bottomless... Uh... Oh, I could, I could probably go over here. Yeah, I should try that, actually. No, I think I... I think I did fish from here earlier, and it counted as the underworld for the fishing biome, even though even though I wasn't far enough out for underworld enemies to spawn. Could be wrong about that. I should check the time, it's probably already night time. Oh wait, I only put out one lava bomb. Oh, you absolute derp, that's probably enough for the 300 tiles. Okay, but I just want to check this while we're here. So I thought if I'm here... That changed the music. Um, I thought if I stand around here... Uh... What kind of bait are we using? There we go. Let's 
not quite gonna work. Then maybe I can have this be the same as the home biome, the caverns, even though we're lava fishing. I don't think it's gonna work that way. Lava fishing sure is slow though. And we got nothing. Cool. Alright, but let's try this. See if we don't have to go as far for lava fishing from now on. Okay, that's a bit close. Uh, whoopsie. My bad. That's actually full. Alright, let's try fishing here. I'm curious to see what we can reel in. If we can reel anything in. With lava fishing, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't think it's working. It can take like 30 seconds or a minute or something to, uh, to get a bite with lava fishing. And this is probably not 300 tiles, but even so, I don't think it's doing anything. Alright, let's put the lava bombs back here. And sell this. What time is it? 12 a.m.? It really would be a waste to use a blood blood moon thingy right now. Let's go looking for the queen bee. Another hive. And this time, not underestimate the jungle. Down we go. Where are we going? Spelunker is go. What do we have here? Well, I'll take a shine and a night owl. That's nice. Is this a trap? Yes, yes it is. Ow. Uh, did we already remove? No, we did not. Alright, boulders out of the way. We've still got some explosives down here. This is the most obvious dead man's chest I've ever seen. I think it's got something to do with the biome soup uh, spawning stuff in the jungle that wouldn't normally be there. Are those grubs? Yeah, lots of them. Alright, that should be all the explosives. It was all of the explosives. Is that a chest? That is not a chest. Okay, I have to admit, not, not breaking pots by accident. A stuff of regrowth. Nice. It, and it's a material now. Uh, not breaking chests by accident means we don't fill our inventory with randomness quite as quickly.
down we go. Um, let's just bomb our way through here. That's taking more than I expected. I should remember I can look around like this. You would think there's a surface here, but the oh, there it is. Nice, we know exactly where to dig. Well, the vines take a lot more damage than I thought. Great bombs. Spare magic mirror here. I'll drop the grubbies. They're not really. I, I should double check if uh, the latest version changed anything with them actually. Don't need these wooden arrows either. I'll definitely take that plat. Um, is what I would say if my inventory wasn't crying actually. shameful umbrella, um, but it's still perfectly good for the purpose of not taking any fall damage. Um, I might just port back. We can easily come back here. We know the way. Shameful umbrella. I'll put it in the piggy bank for now. We're not going to need it until we go to the surface. That's basically an infinite featherfall. Um, stuff of regrowth. Let's remind ourselves what this turns into. We need a copper or tin axe, a bunch of jungle spores and vines. Increases alchemy plant collection when used to gather, creates grass on dirt. I didn't know that. Or was that new? Plants acorns when cutting down trees as well. And we get more damage out of it. The only downside is I'm not going to have a hammer on me without one more inventory slot. But how often do we use a hammer? Alright, let's make ourselves a copper and or tin axe. And then we need the jungle things. Are we missing something? We've got vines, we've got jungle spores, we've got axe, we've got stuff of regrowth. Uh, it's probably a different crafting station. Workbench. There it is. Axe of Regrowth. Oh, it's surprisingly big. Decent swing speed. It's actually almost comparable to the Blade of Grass for DPS. Okay, and the first thing I want to know about this is will it automatically places acorns when cutting down trees, but does it place, for example, ruby gem corns when cutting down ruby trees? It does not. Feels bad.
Diamond Squirrel. Alright, let's put this stuff away for now. And I'll stash away the Molten Hammocks. Stash away the rest. Probably just sell the extra mirror. There's only one use for it, right? Yeah. It's only one gold. I shouldn't even bother picking it up. It's just that uh, obsession with picking up things that were hard to come by. Okay, sell the extra potion. Uh, what else? Grubby. Still just goes into grub soup. We need three kinds of grub to make a medium improvement to stats food. That's pretty, pretty lame. Would be better off using this for bait. I thought there might be a new recipe or something. Alright, jellyfish statue you can go here. Give me all the critters, every single one. And I'm not really using the vile thorn. I have this if I want to hit things through walls or if I want to hit multiple enemies without much damage each. So I think I'll put the vile thorn away. And let's re-roll this thing. Get a little more damage out of it. Quick doesn't really do much. Or does it? Knockback, Lamau. Masterful? Plus 25% damage. Wow. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice suit. Okay, um, why don't we, I just realized I don't actually have Waterleaf, uh, placed safely. Waterleaf seeds, here we go. Since I'm not carrying the right book for that anymore. Let's put them over here. Oh no, that's using the pickaxe by default. So I need to go out of my way to do this. At least I don't have to aim it. It'll only it'll only kill flowers that don't give us anything or pick up plants that have already bloomed that are that are currently blooming. That's quite good. And to have it on me all the time, that's very nice. I guess we can start stashing some blink root seeds. Uh, over here, perhaps? Yeah, I do have a black pearl, I just don't have a ladybug to make a luck potion. Alright, what's the time? 12 p.m. Uh, what are we doing? Caught in underground and caverns. Uh, I hope this counts. Let's try it. There's no platform here. I should really carry the Magiluminescence with me. So I don't have to waste... a uh, Shine Potion. Alright, let's try fishing here. I don't have any bait, you absolute buffoon. Might as well grab Magiluminescence while we're at it. Could 
could you get out of the way, please? No? Piggy bank. I don't have anywhere to put it. Bruh. There we go. Metaluminescence go burr. Oh, that was quick. There's our spider fish. Alright, so the underground and caverns. Uh, this definitely counts as underground. Oh, and we got the pocket guide. Displays fishing info. Oh, that's only fishing power. That's not what I'm looking for. I mean, we need it to combine with other things, but still. Uh, I'll just shove that over here for now. Right then. In how many minutes? About five minutes we can do the Blood Moon. I really don't want to carry these with me at this stage. Oh yeah, we have some more stuff to loot down here. I don't quite remember what it was. Uh, let me swap this for regen. Literally does nothing if we're on full health. Shark tooth might make more sense, actually. No. Worm scuff. Worm scuff. Finally decided. Okay. We are looking for the last spot we were at before we came back. Oh, that's a bird. Let's leave a trail so we know which way we came. Prizing indeed. Ow, 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 stop it. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have a loom lying around. What do we have here? Silver bars, silver coins, angel statue. chest. Another a murderous umbrella. Yes. Perfect. No notes. Uh, we can get the reduced mana usage now. Let's see where this rail goes. Ooh. A bit of biome soup here that looks very cool. Just a little bit of glowing mushroom mixed in with the jungle. Give me that. My inventory is full. As always. Can I not get out of here? Really? There we go. Okay. Still not finding any hives, though. Let's get back on this rail. I think I heard a mimic. Probably too late already. 
No? Alright, what do you got for me? gonna take like 60 years to die to that. I oh, don't fall down there. No! Oh, I think it was just a cloud and a bottle, which we've got a million of, but still. Yeah, it's a cloud and a bottle. Uh, we can drop this. Also, I found a easier path to the... Uh, to the demon town, so there's that. Alright, let's head back up this way. Let's take some iron skin regen food. See where this goes. I'm finding, I'm having a hell of a time finding more hives. Really wish I hadn't lost that fight by just one hit point or whatever it was. Oh, here's one. Fantastic. Now don't break the thing before we're ready. It's actually quite a big hive. Ripping off the roof there. All right, up we go. And I guess we're going up this way. What is that? Marble? No. Oh, I think it's tin, and the color, the the lighting is just a bit weird. Um, I don't actually want to ha have to carry tin right now, but what's the alternative? Oh, you can actually place this mushroom. Interesting. Didn't know that was a possibility. We do need some hives, so I may as well cut through it a bit like this. Oh, and there's the boss thingy. Do not break that before we're ready. Alright, I might just shove spare crap in here for the moment. That is a nice big boss arena. We can definitely beat. Oh, there's a shark. Uh, I don't want to dig through. It's going to take a minute to kill this way, though. How about a flinx? Is it going to come back to me through the wall? No, we're good. I don't want to dig through, and I don't want the shark to despawn. Uh, so this is kind of... These are our options here. Fantastic. Alright, let's go get that shark fin. Uh, I think I'll dig through up here, actually. just want to have an entrance where oh where random enemies aren't going to come through I could make it literally a door I guess I 
Oh yeah, not much is going to come through this way. That's fine. Alright, give me that shark fin. And I guess we'll gear up for a boss fight. What do we have here? Ow. Ow. Alright, back we go. Uh, wooden boomerang. Becomes enchanted boomerang with a single star. Enchanted boomerang. I think this is the one we can upgrade. Flamerang. 62 melee. Ooh, what's this? Trimerang. Uh, it's not as much damage, but I definitely want to try it. Three boomerangs are better than one. If it's 26 times three, that might be just better. We have an ice boomerang. I don't know if we have a shroomerang, though. Uh, lying around somewhere. Shroomerang might be hard to come by. I hope I didn't sell it. I think I... I don't think I would have sold it, and I have no memory of that. If I saw the word material, I definitely wouldn't have sold such a thing. Um, let's just put those here for now. Okay. Ten of worms. Enchanted night crawlers. How many do we have? Ten. We've got so many more, uh... Magma snails that have the same bait power. Not that exciting now that we have the lava proof bug net. Give me you, little squirrel. And emeralds and such go in here. Shark fins of potions, hunter potion, mega shark, and I definitely don't care about water walking potions at this point. So it's really just hunter potion uh, at the moment. Alright, so for a boss fight, we want honey fin. 120 health as opposed to 100. We want burgers for the major improvements to stats. We want thorns potions. Uh, Titan potion isn't going to do anything. Heart reach might. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the bees can drop hearts, so that's actually huge. That probably would have mean it meant that I would have won last time I fought the queen bee. That would have made the difference. Danger sense isn't going to do anything. Uh, we could make a heart lantern. Endurance potion. I could make a star lantern as well, but I'm not going to use mana. And... I think that's about it. We need some chains. And sell this. Oh, nature's gift. What can we do with that these days? Nature's gift. Same as always, we can make a mana flower. But how many things can we turn the mana flower into, I wonder? I think we need the Tinkerer's Workshop. There it is. Uh, same as always. Magnet Flower, Mana Cloak, and Arcane Flower. And it doesn't like, doesn't look like there's been a change to any of those. 
All right, I'll put this in here for now. And build a potion can go in here. Uh, so can Spelunka Potion. A Hunter Potion wouldn't be bad. It's a little overkill, I think, for the Queen Bee at this stage, but I would rather be overkill than not. I hope it doesn't turn out I had Hunter Potions. It does not. All right, give me these back. Oh, I already... Featherfall? I don't really think so. Okay. Seems good. How many bullets do we have? All of them? Hellfire arrows. I can't make explosive bullets. But I could use Hellfire Arrows to kill the bees as they're coming out of the Queen Bee. I'd have to equip a bow for that. Demon Bow doesn't really keep up. Nah, I think this will be fine. Um, anything else? We got... Do I have any Ebon Koi? I... That's Obsidian Fish. Kind of hard, uh, kind of a bit harder and more of a pain to go and fish up Ebon Koi with this seed. So, it's only 10% damage. I don't think I'll bother... All of our other preparations should be more than enough. So we've got damage reduction, regen, movement, dash. Uh, bonds, heart reach, hunter potion, better heals. I think that will do it. Since when do we have bunnies down here? Alright. Now we just have to get there without getting our inventory stuffed full of random things. Down we go. And I think I want to dig through here. Oh, I don't, e don't even have to dig. Nice. Okay. Uh, a sentry is fine too. Maybe I should have brought the ballista. And Heart Lantern. Probably here. Alright, let's do this. It's kind of slow. Oh yeah, I need to dip myself in the honey for heals as well. It didn't always make that sound when it did a charge. I think it used to do the ru 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 not long ago. Blinks is actually doing a great job of killing the little bees, so I don't have to switch to something else for that. Right now, it's not. Ow. 
I should use the slime. Go vertical fast. Oh yeah, it got really, really fast last time with the dashing. It's one of the reasons why you want to have more damage before you fight the queen bee. Thinking it pretty well though at this stage. Uh oh. Yeah, now it's getting fast. Well, that's one way to kill the little bees. run the risk of causing a bunch of damage to us though. Okay, that's our first queen bee. And we did get the bee gun. Beautiful. Um, I think I'll put the mini shark away now. We got the bee gun and the hive pack. Let's go. This is all we need to kill the wall of flesh. Um, I think we'll switch to... Do we actually get any damage out of this? We get magic... Uh, we get 6% increased magic damage. 12% uh, crit strike. 10-22 versus 10-10. It's so little extra magic damage that a single bee doesn't... Uh, the bee gun doesn't get buffed at all. Hype, indeed. This is... I've never tried this against Skeletron. Like, I think this is going to be... Unless Skeletron in this seed is, like, especially nasty. Uh, this is probably going to be quite the curb stump. Alright. Uh, I don't even think there's anything else I want from Queen Bee. I don't think we need to kill her again. Alright, let's figure out what we're doing. Now accessories. Oh! That's something we'll have to kill her again for. We need honeycomb so that we can upgrade the stinger necklace. And we can have double stinger necklace if we have a stinger necklace and... Uh, we can have double necklace if we have one of these and one of these. Uh, if we If we badly want 10 armor pen... Uh, which, if we're going to use bees, pretty good actually. We can make, oh yeah, there's a summon set as well. Plus two minions, eight, 13 defense, that's pretty bad defense wise. I don't know if there's a set bonus for this. Hive five? <laughs> Summons killer bees when striking your foe? It's a it's a yo-yo? Yes, beautiful. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I feel like you've done more than three streams of Don't Dig Up Terraria. Um, I don't think I have. I've only been doing one per week. Uh, the Hornet stuff is kind of like uh, side grade-ish. It's it's a bit weaker from the uh, compared to the Imp stuff, but it doesn't have trouble hitting things that are in liquids. Um, but yeah, I'm more interested in in a mage loadout. Has there been? Has there actually been a meteor yet? I don't remember seeing a message for a meteor. 
I, I really want the media armor now. It's the best damage if we're going to go mage. Um, but yeah, let's maybe re-roll this depending on the cost. Oh, that's cheap. Menacing? Hell yes. Uh, and what about the bee gun? Can we get my mythical? Yes, please. We could probably do better for damage. Um, Masterful Lightning Aura Rod gives us 25% damage. Minus 20 mana cost. Uh, but this gives us a wider range of buffs. Yatu Watu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Now we need the Mana Flower. Uh, can we get something to combine it with? Free hard mode? Celestial Magnet, Star Cloak. Star Cloak is definitely hard mode. I think Celestial Magnet is as well. We can get the the Loot Magnet. Um, what is that? Amethyst Bunny. We can get the Loot Magnet from Lava Fishing, but... Oh, actually, we can't. Not yet. I already fished up some... some strong boxes. Where are they even? But we need the shadow key. Same as if we want to open these chests over here. So we need to go to the dungeon for that. Okay. Uh, and just in case I... Oh yeah, we do want to summon the queen bee again. Where's... A bee manation. Stinger, hive, and honey block. I think we need to pour water on honey to make honey block. Uh, which is less of a problem. If we want to pay money for it, we can just use wet and dry bombs. Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Shop. That should be way more than enough. That's our fishing quest. Underground and caverns. Let's do that real quick. Actually, I don't have bait on me, so I'll do the honey thing first. Okay. Uh, we'll make some honey bombs. Actually, there's some water down here. It's going to make it super easy. Now. What the? No, I used up bottled honey. Improves natural healing for a short time. Life regen has increased. 15 seconds. Oh, and it restores 80 life. But you also get potion sickness. Okay. Uh, bottled Honey bomb, that's what I meant to do. That's actually probably way more honey blocks than we need already. I need a better pickaxe. needed the one honey bomb to be honest. Uh, let's leave behind plenty of water here. Make sure there's over 300 tiles for fishing. And then that's the wrong pylon. Wet and dry bombs in here. Bottled honey. Oh, I think I did have honey somewhere. I think I quick stacked it and now I don't know where it is. Oh no. Oh, here it is, honey block. 
Why was it in the potion ingredients? Yeah, there's no reason for that. Stinger, hive, and stuff we're carrying already. Stinger. Hive. Where... Where did I put the hive? Oh, here it is. Alright, cool. Oh, it wasn't in potion ingredients. It was pretty hard. Yeah, there's those obsidian lockboxes I was talking about. Put them in with fishing stuff. Uh, a beam and nation. Fantastic. Alright, we'll spam the queen bee a little bit later when we're super strong against her. Uh, where did I put the summoning stuff? I guess in here? I don't know where I left. Oh, I need it right now. I don't know where I left the thing to trigger the, uh, the bloody tear to trigger the blood moon. Here it is. Oh, before I do... Um, this one? Let's go ham on... Mage. Get ourselves some mana potions. Fantastic. And I'll put away the, the boss fight food and stuff. And now, where's our cheaper food? Beautiful. All right, Blood Moon go. Bees go. I should really combine that with the Shark Tooth Necklace. We don't need no regen. Alright, I think we'll find our... At the rate we can kill enemies with this, we should probably find... our money trough this time. Hopefully. It's certainly easy to use than the mini shark. I'm not even needing any mana potions because the enemies drop uh, mana pickups so often. This should make the overworld a lot easier as well. We our, our defense has dropped a bit, but killing the enemy a lot more easily is a defense in and of itself. Look at the swamp go, focusing on one thing after the next. They're not even getting on screen at this rate. They're not a way for me to make them spawn faster. I 
I guess if I used banners to kill them faster, that would help. Oh, we got the money trough. No worries. I don't even care about finishing this blood moon now. Actually, I do want another shark tooth necklace. Um, I might even just not worry about having auto mana consumption. And that way we can have even more damage. This would be pretty effective against the Queen Bee for the most part as well. Her little bees would last a fraction of a second. The uh, invulnerability time is actually like the biggest bottleneck for the bees dealing damage here. Should probably make room in my inventory, otherwise a shark tooth necklace could drop and I could not even notice. It's rather high, but there is a limit to how many items can be lying on the ground. Um, they won't disappear by timing out, but if the limit is hit, it will start removing stuff. Armored Shackle. Amazing. List of clades, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Surviving, fair enough. And relate. check what time it is. I think I've had a, just about enough of farming the Blood Moon for items. I'm not that invested in having double, uh, double Shark Tooth Necklace. So working on 100% for it, started playing an old game I noticed that has achievements now. Nice. Yeah, I don't achievement hunt much, but for a certain few games, it's uh, it's kind of nice if if you're just if you like the game anyway to start with. Uh, one example would be Into the Breach. Oh, we got a Raven banner. It just kind of adds some replay value, I guess. You end up trying strategies and stuff that you otherwise wouldn't have. Oh, you can actually sell the goodie bags? That's good. Okay, Armored Shackle? Uh, we don't... We've got the Worm Scarf, we don't need that. Oh, and that's the end of the Blood Moon anyway. Considering how long it takes us to kill a Mimic anyway, uh, our very easy to use weapon is killing them pretty quickly. Alright, let's put the Mini Shark away. And... Where am I going to keep this stuff? I've only got 24 clay in my inventory. Maybe we should just not assume that we're going to pick it up all the time. 
bee wax, I guess, can go in here. Uh, don't really care about the bee needs. They're supposedly still OP against the wall of flesh, though, so I'll hoard them a bit. Um, and then... Bloody Tear. And go in here. Let's get a benchmark of how much damage this does. That's not bad. It's going to take a bit longer to kill Skeletron with this, but not having to aim is kind of nice. Also, unlimited ammo. I don't know, maybe I should hold on to the mini shark. No, I don't think it's going to deal damage that much faster. I think this is just pre hard mode DPS. I was trying to hit it with the slime mount. Alright. Once more with feeling, because we may as well sell all this stuff at once. I didn't even consume a single mana potion. It's going to be a bit different against uh, Skeletron, since he's not going to give us little drops like this. Actually, considering how much damage the, uh, the bees still managed to do while the Eye of Cthulhu dashed around at the end, I'm not too worried. Oh, we did consume a mana potion there. There we go. Okay, give me you, Magma Snail. And did we get a better shield? We did. Armored Shield of Cthulhu. That's uh, three defense right there. Actually, Shield of Cthulhu is probably really cheap to reforge. It's not that cheap. I'll just keep the armored one. Sell this. We also gain a bunch of healing potions. Uh, we've got so many Hermes boots, I think I'll sell some. Clouds in a bottle are a lot easier to come by with this seed as well. Okay. Let's stack this away. And I think we'll go to the surface now. Look for some floating islands. Be very, very careful about... I still don't have a depth meter. So it's very, very easy to accidentally hit the top of the map and just die. Hmm... I guess with Featherfall... I think Featherfall works both ways, right? If we're falling upside down, we're going to be gaining altitude more slowly. It should be a lot easier to avoid that fate, I hope. We've got enough Featherfall potions. I don't really think we need the Umbrella handy. Oh, and I forgot. I'm not used to it now. We can just... 
summon our piggy bank whenever we want. Took so long to get it. Okay. Let's make these potions. Pumpkin pie is medium stats. We've already got the sashimi for that. What was that food that gave us like eight minutes major stats or something? It was relatively farmable. I don't remember. Okay, so we're on our way to... The surface. Get out of my way, please. Thank you. I really need a pylon up here, but like, it's not like there's a corruption pylon. I would, ha I think it would be best if I move the uh, the house in the snow biome, but then I would have to create an artificial lake if I want to do fishing there. But this might be the best way to get to the surface quickly. Should make a nice house while we're at it. Up we go. We're already getting assaulted by eaters. At least they die easy now. Alright, hopefully we'll get some deathweed seeds while we're here as well. Probably not. Uh, we found one sky island up here. Do I want to go left or right first? Probably to the right, that's just going to cover more ground. Wait till we lose our chilled debuff. Why is it so long? I hate movement debuffs. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right, okay. Wow, that died easy. Fantastic. I should probably have a hunter potion, but then I don't... <gasps> we got deathweed seeds. Yes. Even just one seed is cause for celebration. I don't know how we got deathweed seeds. This one didn't drop seeds. I didn't see any blooming. But I'm definitely not complaining. Alright, so we're going to go Grav Potion, Featherfall Potion, turn the map on, on the minimap, and start very carefully looking for Sky Islands, because if we hit the top of the map, we just die. And there's no points of reference except by jumping to the map. And I actually can't tell... Okay, I have to remember, I'm currently falling. And... I guess I could just barely see, as we explore the map, it goes from a very dark grey to pitch black. You can just just barely see the track that I've followed here. Okay, so now we're falling again. I'm not going to do a very thorough job of covering every spot where a sky island could be, I think. I'm just a little bit too scared of hitting the top of the map. We're currently going, uh, falling upwards. Oh, we need to swap. We need to swap. We need to swap. Yeah, there's a lot of momentum there.
Alright, now we're falling upwards. Let's swap again. This is very uncomfortable. Falling upwards again. Oh, here we go. Now we have a sky island. We have a point of reference. And with any luck, we have some wings as well. And we don't have a whole lot of health. Let's get inside. That is not wings. Love is in the trash slot. Okay. What? Um, I guess we'll take that. Last thing I wanted to see was a second red balloon, but what can you do? Let's get some regen happening. Get some vision distance as well. Fun fact, the falling stars spawn at random heights, and the range of heights they spawn is within the range that floating islands generate. Interesting. Ow. Alright, uh, do we still have grav? We only have featherfall right now. I think what I'll do is just jump. Don't hit the top of the map. And we'll just coast in this general direction as far as we can with our featherfall. Oh, and we get another island. Beautiful. And a whole lot of harpies. Wow. Celestial magnet. I'd forgotten. I did say earlier, I thought that was probably hard mode only. Um, so now we can upgrade our... Mana flat. Ow, 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 ow. Jeez. Give me a second here. Um. Get some honey. I need to find room in my inventory right now. Invisibility potion is actually S tier <laughs> for this, uh. For this uh, seed. Ow, 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 ow. Maybe I should use it right now. I think I will. Invisibility potion. Basically, uh, another kind of. It's basically another kind of calming potion. I'm just gonna leave this here. And then. See if we can find one more. Hopefully wings or a sky lake, please. Oh, here we go. Fingers crossed. Don't get pushed up to the sky and die. All right, what do we got? No wings? Are there just no wings on this seed? So while you're exploring a floating island, it's entirely possible for a falling star to literally spawn directly where you are and kill you? Unavoidably? I've never seen them spawn on screen, though. Like monsters, I think they have to be slightly off... Ooh. More seeds, please. More deathweed seeds. I should have used the axe. I would have got more seeds. Okay, okay. Let me down, please. Let me down. There we go. Should have thought of that sooner. Uh, what's this? Platinum? We got a lucky horseshoe. Can I combine that with the blizzard in a balloon? Maybe I'll actually do that. Since we just can't seem to find... Um, 
I can't seem to find wings. That's the exact same painting that was in here before, uh, in the last one. Alright. Damn, that's a lot of harpies. Well, on the plus side, we have no trouble whatsoever farming feathers. Or money, for that matter. Oh, let me fall, please. No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding. Not like this. I'm not going to be juggled into the sky for the one-hit kill. Bruh. Imagine, imagine losing a hardcore save that way. I'm glad we've got these not clouds here, actually. How many feathers do I have? 47? Yeah, we've got like infinite feathers already. Ow. Ow. Hopefully we find one more island. Failing that, let's try to get to the end of the map, maybe. Oh, that's not even a maybe, that's a... Uh... Pretty plausible. Go, go, B army. More deathweed seeds. Very welcome. That was lava for a second, not that it would matter. <laughs> the giant worms just insta die. Ow. Damn, those things hit hard. Alright, let's see if we can get to the other ocean. If there is such a thing. We're going to have infinite deathweed already, after this. How many seeds have we got? 21. Yep, our deathweed shortage is over. I guess considering the flight height that I have combined with a uh, featherfall potion, I really don't need the wings to fight Skeletron. Haven't been here before. Regular wood, what a treasure. Don't forget that you can put any accessories in the social slot for more inventory space, indeed. Um, that's a good idea, actually. There's also these slots here, but it's a little bit dangerous swapping... Ow, 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 ow. It's a little bit dangerous swapping to loadouts that don't have any armor. Let's go through here. Is it possible? If if I hang out... Oh, no, wait. It's always night time. Yeah, there's no way to make gnome statues. I should make doors here. Let's go... Ashwood door is fine. down this way. That whole time I didn't have uh, my damage. Whoops. This is pretty ordinary actually. More marble? 
and more nothing. Hello streamer and chat, had a question about this game, I've seen people go up in the sky and make a brick to start building, but they don't build up to it. How do they do that? The only thing I can think of is a ice rod. Uh, it's a magic spell from hard mode. You buy it from the wizard and it just makes a brick wherever you want uh, that lasts like I think it's only 15 seconds, if that. Oh, why are we getting dripplers? It's not the blood moon, is it? Ow. So maybe they did that build next to before it went away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the only thing I can think of before hard mode. I mean, uh, it's after hard mode, rather. I don't think there's a way before hard mode. What is this that's taking so much damage? Corrupt goldfish. Oh yeah, it is blood moon. I think I just forgot about it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have the money trough now. That was a mistake. Uh, is there even an ocean here? I guess the other one didn't take up that much space. Alright. I'm gonna give up on finding wings. We're gonna fight Skeletron. What's the time? 3am? I'll finish the Blood Moon so that we can concentrate on what we're doing. The trouble with parrying with the shield is you'll just get hit by the next attack. The same thing applies against Duke Fishron in the last stage, but he does a predictable number of dashes each time. Okay, let's stack away this stuff. Uh, sell this. Of course, it would be safe to use water and honey. Make obsidian out of a bucket of lava and water. Obsidian buckets, that's a good idea. Indeed. Yeah, you can, you can make obsidian that way. Just pour water on lava or vice versa. Uh, we got another spooky chest. Let's just shove it over here. Oh, and we have deathweed seeds. Beautiful. Can we plant those here? No. Um, I need some more space for them. Pour them out mid-air to make a solid block. Oh yeah, 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 that would work. Absolutely. Um, you can see here, if I drop the honey in the air, I can sort of stand on it as well. It's good to have a honey bucket on you, not just for putting yourself out if you're on fire, but it'll give you a regen buff as well, with no cooldown and not costing you potion sickness um, or anything. Not costing you a potion, I should say. Uh, Alright, let's double check that this only upgrades with one thing. Oh, I forgot. Celeste, we can eventually fish this up again if we need another one. This is hard mode stuff. 
Uh, right now I definitely want that magnet flower. Vivim, thank you very much for the two months. Much appreciated. And good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I need to drop this. Not drop, but yeah, there we go. Magnet flower. Uh, we still get the same mana usage, but we also get mana pickup range. All right, so that's going to go there. Uh, horseshoe magnet. Uh, sorry, what? Horseshoe magnet. Lucky horseshoe. Bundle of horseshoe balloons. That's new. Does that mean... I think you still have to keep them unhorseshoed if you want to make the bundle of balloons. Oh, no, you don't. Blue horseshoe balloon, this one, this one. Yellow horseshoe balloon, this one. Th okay, so if only one of them is horseshoed, you can still make the bundle. Okay. White horseshoe balloon. So presumably, and I'm not that worried if it's not the case, uh, the white horseshoe balloon will also be able to turn into bundle of balloons. Crafting. Yeah, bundle of horseshoe balloons. Okay, cool. So we actually just need one more balloon to get bundle of balloons. Because we've got a an angry shiny red balloon right here. Uh, except we've got double blizzard. We need sandstorm in a bottle as well as a balloon. Uh, if we're going to think, make the bundle. As is light, ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright. I wanted to place Deathweed Seeds. Probably over here. I'm being a lot lazier with my builds this run. It takes time, is the thing. And it's not like you can make blueprints in this game. Uh, it takes time to make nice builds. Longer than you'd think. Alright, that's our practically infinite deathweed. Not going to bother with a grav potion again until I'm looking for more sky islands. But I will use the featherfall potions. How do I have six? Not that I'm complaining. I'll use those for fighting Skeletron. Oops. Vile Mushroom. What are those used for? Nothing but Vile Powder? Requires Objects Bottle. But I think Vile Powder is actually used for a couple of things. Crafting... Vile Powder... Summon the Eater of Wilds. And a poisoned knife. whoop de doo Okay. How many of these do we have? A lot. Do we need a demon altar? Uh, I want to remind myself. Battle potion. Just needs this and deathweed, actually. I should probably make some of those now so that I don't have to look for them later on. What else was I doing? Do we need a demon altar? We do. And... Coffin minecart? Timeless traveler's footwear. 
Timeless Traveler's Co uh, Co Cloak, rather. Monster Lasagna, medium improvements. It takes eight. It's only eight minutes. I think fishing would be a better use of time to get food that way. Uh, but yeah, I do actually want to summon the Eater of Worlds again a couple of times, I think. I could do it by just going and looking for more orbs, though. But it's just convenient to do it this way. I think I'll just put these two ingredients in the piggy bank. And then corrupt seeds. Oh, well, I don't know. Wait, where did they go? Just shove that in here for now. Sell this. Alright, let's get our buff potions together. I found a fiberglass fishing pole. Nice. So you're in the jungle, right? I think that's 35% fishing power. Uh, let's see. We need... Well, why don't I just browse this way? Need some shine potions. Need some night owl potions. Uh, don't want to run out of swiftness. Don't want to run out of regen. And iron skin. Wait, what? Oh, I see. That's fine. Uh, that's all the common stuff. I was excited. Should be. That's like the best... I think that's the best fishing rod you're going to get for a while, actually. Robo Jumper. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we got grabs, not that I'm going to use them. Featherfall, I am going to use. Magic, minor region. Not as important, but still good. You actually have to stop using mana for this to kick in, is the only thing. Uh, but 20% increased magic damage, definitely we want that. In fact, give me even more of those. Uh, what else? Hunter potion if we can, but we can't. We've got thorns at home. The thorns. And I think that's it. Defense, damage, movement, light, food. Featherfall, Thorns. Not that Thorns is going to do a whole lot against Skeletron, I guess. But I think we're about as ready as we could be right now. Okay, away we go. Let's get our Imp. Oh, summoning potion. I could have a couple of imps. Imps don't do a whole lot with these sorts of boss fights, though. I can't remember how to get a summoning potion, though. I could get damage reduction 10%. Damage 10%. I have to go fishing to make that happen. I don't think the fight's going to be that hard. All of the other bosses have just been normal, I think. King Slime might have been bigger. Or maybe I just felt like King Slime was bigger because he showed up out of nowhere with no provocation. Should I make jungle armor? Yeah, it's quite good actually. That's what I'm wearing now. Um, I actually wore jungle armor to kill... Uh, Eater of Worlds this time. It's uh, probably the strongest, like defense-wise, probably the strongest armor you can get before Eater of Worlds, I think. 
Usually I would just go like silver or gold armor before Eater of Worlds. Alright. Uh, I didn't re-roll this. Bruh. We got no stats on the horseshoe balloon. It's probably fine. Probably. And I probably... Uh, I've got a boomstick. It's fine. I was going to say I should probably use uh, Mini Shark as well. But A, I think the B gun is going to do about as much damage, even when the bees don't do a great job of tracking. Um, and we have the boomstick. Or the musket, if I must use a gun. Let's use a shine pot. Ow. The easiest way to remember how to make any potion is to give the guide bottled water. Yeah. There's an awful lot of potions um, that you can make, though. So it is good to memorize at least some of the common ones. I mean, you'll probably do that without even trying. Uh, it is better if you can re at least remember some of the ingredients. It's not as bad as if you, like, show the guide wood. But if you can give him something a bit more narrow, you won't have a screen overwhelmed with options for crafting. Ow. Okay. Uh, I don't think it matters what time it is. I hope it doesn't matter what time it is. Oh, I should have brought a heart. Oh no! I thought I was using the money trough. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, but lanterns can go in here, I guess. Ah, uh, let's put hearts in here. Personally, I always put the return potions on slot zero. Uh, I like for it's very reachable, but kind of not where I'm normally going. I didn't use a slot, though. I reached in with the mouse, which makes it all that much worse. I'm not really using grenades anymore, because I've got the B gun. Um, maybe I'll swap something in for that. Filethorn. Maybe. I think I'll put Mini Shark here. Oh, at least we get to re-roll that thing that I forgot. Reforge White Horseshoe Balloon. Lucky? We can stick with Lucky. We got Lucky, Menacing, 4 damage, 4 crit. 2% melee speed is pathetic. Give me damage or defense. There we go. Brisk Mana Flower. That's a bit more expensive to re-roll, but... Warding? I'll take it. Absolutely. We've only got 28 defense, actually. Versus... 36. That's not insignificant. Maybe this isn't work. 6% magic damage and 12% crit? Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, that's a decent reforge on the balloon. I don't like crit as much most of the time. Although with bees, we're hitting so many times that um, we're going to average out pretty well, actually. I just don't like the inconsistency of crit. Uh, 
Oh, right. Vile mushroom. To quick stack, I need to do this. And we don't need a hook. God damn it. Alright. Let's go climbing again. I wish we could get more vertical uh, verticality with the rails. Or build literal elevators or something. I mean, we can make teleporters later on, but that's hard mode. Are we going to get deer clops showing up? Is that possible with this seed? I hope not. Deerclops is as tedious as it is a challenge. Maybe I should down a Oh, hello. Maybe she's down a featherfall potion when I'm climbing up like this. I guess I'll just hold down the button. That worked. That's our third metal detector, but we still don't have a, a depth meter. Which is the only only informational accessory that I particularly care about right now because it tells us exactly what biome we're in which is a bit confusing uh, with this particular seed alright, I think I'll take the featherfall now since it's just really long duration and it's just going to make uh traveling that much easier. May as well make an attempt to find a floating island this way too. I don't know if we can go high enough for that though. There's that mana magnet though, wow. Good range. Oh yeah, I have the slime mount. I can probably go... Did I go past the dungeon? I did not. I was going to say, I could probably go dangerously close to the top of the map this way. Let's try it. Biggest double jump we can. We're like halfway to the top, which is not bad, honestly. We could potentially find some floating islands this way. With no fear of suddenly going splat when we don't know where we are. Uh, but yeah, that should be more than enough height to fight Skeletron. Alright, are we prepared? I think so. I wanted to put down a heart lantern, even though we're probably not gonna be in range of it most of the time. Okay. And honey. Really? There we go. Now if I could just get like a minute to get back to full health, that'd be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't particularly want to start by, um, by activating potion sickness. Soul's banner makes a lot of sense. Also, getting a bunch of mana drops to spawn over here makes a lot of sense as well. 
How do you keep spawning over here? Okay, I think we are as ready as we're going to be. I'm probably overthinking it. Like, it's probably going to be a lot... That was scary. It's probably going to be a lot easier than how much I'm typing it up. Just have to keep a moderate distance. Ow. The hands will get killed pretty much automatically. Yeah, this is actually... Oh, how much health does he have? Oh, because the main body d has high defense until we kill the hands. Okay, okay, my buff potion... Okay, okay. Even though I activated buff potions at the start of the fight, my vision... My light ran out like a minute in. Okay, this could be really bad, but I don't want to restart. I mean, if it was hardcore, I'd restart in a nanosecond. But it is not hardcore. Alright, we're back to 260. What? Two. Okay, random. Random eaters are not helping. Also, I should probably remember that I can fall faster deliberately. What the hell even hit me? The skull. An eater of souls that I can't even see crashing into me from the sky when I'm trying to avoid... We lost our honey as well. Uh, an eater of souls that's like effectively invisible until it's too late crashing into me from the left when I'm trying to avoid Skeletron from the right. Um, doesn't help either, but what really killed it was getting stuck here because I didn't notice my, uh, my shine potion had been activated a while ago, and buff potion just, it doesn't refresh any of your, uh, the, the auto buff doesn't refresh any of your buffs, it just activates whatever isn't active already. So, I ran out of uh, Shine Potion a minute in. Parked myself in here without realizing it, which in and of itself was pretty damn unlucky. Got stuck here before I could figure out what was happening. 500th Eater? Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't say 5,000th. I haven't seen a... Oh, that's a second money trough. Figures, since it took so long to get the first one. Um, I haven't seen a traveling merchant for a long time. Oh, and we didn't even pick that up earlier. I didn't know it would automatically pick up the pumpkin once it was ripe. That's handy. Okay. Sell this. Quick Shield of Cthulhu. I don't think so. I'll keep the spare money trough. It, it's kind of hard to sell it when it took so long to get the first one. Alright, we can easily get our honey back at least. I need to remember that with uh, Feather Fall, we can force normal falling speed. And then... what? I should probably fight him somewhere flatter. Like... If I pull him over here, this is not so good. If I pull him all the way to the ocean, that's probably the easiest. Since we've got 
terrace bark boots, this is basically just a flat plane. Much easier than bumping into stuff down here. Okay. Let's take a minute before we try again. What time is it? 7 a.m.? Got all the time in the world to do the fishing. Oh wait, I just realized I don't have to go back for the piggy bank now. We get through here. Fantastic. And give me bait. And that, I thought that was our quest fish already. Normally, if I saw someone fishing with magma snails somewhere other than the lava, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? But this seed is built different. It's taking a surprisingly long time to get this quest fish. Oh wait, does this count as the desert? Yeah, we're getting flounder. No, I think this is desert now. I think this is two biomes, depending on where we stand. Based on the music. I can't remember which biome or biomes we get flounder in. Rock lobster, we're definitely in the desert now. Scorpio fish. Fantastic. Alright. Quest. Fishing potion. The Duke. You know which Duke that's referring to. Fishing potion's actually pretty nice. Uh... You can make them yourself, but you need five, which uh not renewable, I don't believe. No? Oh, it's crispy honey block. So you have to combine honey and lava. Okay. Duke Snifron? Snifron. Maybe I should... Nah, it's fine. We've got sashimi. Don't have to worry too much about getting more fish right now. Hmm. I think I will prepare a bit harder for Skeletron. So I need... Ebon Koi. which I should probably find a good spot. That's a good fishing spot. It would be more convenient if I could make one that's close. Um, I need Ebon Koi for damage and Armored Cave Fish for defense. 10% damage reduction, 10% damage. Now the Traveling Merchant has arrived. Okay. Is he here? He's right where I was a moment ago. What do you got? Lifeform Analyzer and Stopwatch. Nice. Two pieces of the cell phone. But nothing else. 
Alright, let's put that over here. And... See if we can get some armored cave fish. All right, bait go bro. Let's use our fishing potion. Why not? Speed this up. Speed this up. There we go. Stink fish is not useful for anything except that we can use it to make uh, seafood dinner. And when you've got 109 recall potions, you could probably say the same about specular fish. I need a better fishing rod. I'm really not used to it being this slow. Especially with 35% 35, 35 bait and a fishing potion? Maybe I should be using the master bait. We could probably get some in here. Nope. Master bait. Fantastic. All I'm looking for is armored cave fish, but we're getting crates instead. I think the fact that I got specular and stink fish means I'm in the right biome. Literally just one armored cave fish is all I'm really hoping for. I hope I'm not in the wrong biome. I probably shouldn't be opening these as I go. Calming potion is actually very nice. In fact, considering how many uh, eaters were interfering with the boss fight, I'd say this is absolutely essential. And I wouldn't have gone out of my way to do it. So it's probably just as well we got that. Definitely want that star. Beginning to get the feeling that I can't get armored cave fish here. They are a little bit rare, but oh, frog leg. Well, we need one of those as well. Well, I don't think I've ever gotten frog leg underground before. So I'm thinking wrong biome. Another frog leg, heart reach potion. Uh, quick stack that. Quick stack that. Did we only have the one heart reach before? Calming potion. Uh, mana potions can go here. Maybe I should try... I'll try the jungle. I I could be wrong, but I have a vague memory that maybe we got armored cave fish when we tried jungle fishing. Oh, I need the bait. Double card is what we usually get from the jungle. Neon Tetra. There's also like... 
I think there's a single type of fish that you only get from the underground jungle. Can't remember what it's called. I think it's green. And maybe used in summoning potions. I'm really quite stumped. Oh, that's it. Var variegated lardfish. I'm really quite stumped as to where to get the armored cave fish, though. It could be that it's just rare enough that we got unlucky and didn't get any, and I was in the right place. Because I can't think where else to look. I guess we could try the underground ice biome. Oh, I'm out of bait. Tough. And I'm no longer out of bait. Alright, let's jump over here real quick while we still have... Fishing Potion. I don't remember being able to get... Uh... Uh, the armored cave fish anywhere but like regular biomes if that makes sense uh, either purity underground or corruption slash crimson or hallow underground I don't know if we're going to get it out of ice I'd be surprised Oh, now that I think about it, there's some very accessible corruption just to the right of our jungle pylon. I could find or make a fishing spot there. That was already the end of our bait. Rip. Uh, and that way we can get our ebon koi without going all the way up here somewhere and fishing somewhere tricky and dangerous. Let's check what this fish does. Uh, indeed, it is for summoning potion and nothing else. Let's make a couple of summoning potions. Just shove that in the piggy bank. Out here somewhere. Maybe I should use a Titan Potion as well, because the it won't do anything against Skeletron, but the Eaters will get knocked away the moment they touch a bee. Because Eater of Worlds... Uh, sorry, Eaters of Souls are now part of the Skeletron boss fight. Frost Minnow. I think that gives us resistance to cold or something. Reduces damage from cold sources. Uh, I can't think of a single free hard mode. Maybe Ice Slimes? Maybe. Okay. Uh, Neon Tetra will just stack here as well. Let's go have a peek at this corruption. Up this way. And I wish I'd brought that mining potion. Here we go. Fantastic. 
I do not care about this bee. Not even a little bit. Do you want to know what the wiki says? Yeah, sure. I'm not doing a blind playthrough of uh, vanilla itself. Maybe, like, I don't want surprises about the seed, but anything that's just, like, vanilla information that I haven't, that I've forgotten or something, absolutely. Wiki says any biome except desert for that fish, so we just got unlucky. We got really unlucky, actually. We should have had it by accident ages ago. Alright, so we're well and truly into the corruption here. Uh, we just need to find or make... Why not here? I could drain that water instead of uh, going back and using up some wet bombs. It did say uncommon. Didn't search the wiki for the particular seed. For the particular seed. Oh yeah, no. It's fine. What the... Alright, there's our water. It should be more than 300 blocks. Underground corruption before hard mode feels weird. It's definitely a lot less dangerous than the corruption on the surface with this seed. Okay. I think I'll stand up here. I kind of want to join those two bits of water. Ow. Eater of Souls banner, yes please. Oh, the bees won't go in the water. Okay, that's going to make it a little bit annoying. Trying to fish here. Maybe I should put a sentry out. One that actually does damage, not this one. Uh, let's put down a door. Fantastic. And probably one up there as well. I don't think anything's coming from here, really. Alright. Let's get some light. And some bait. And I still haven't used the frog leg. I'm just far enough away from the, uh... Pylon that I don't want to teleport, but my inventory's full of crap anyway. Alright, so frog leg combines with sailfish boots for this dead end amphibian boots right here. Super fast running increases fall resistance and faster jump and auto jump. Yeah, we're gonna make the frog flipper. I'm pretty sure that's the only uh, it's not the only upgrade path for the flipper, actually. But diving helmet is rather difficult to get. And it's not that great, especially in the long run. The diving helmet existed before hard mode was a thing. Uh, and what does this upgrade with? 
high good climbing gear. So the thing that we can't get the other 50% of, where we've got four shoe spikes and no climbing claws. Um, but this, uh, this lets us swim anyway. Let's put that... Actually, I'm just going to keep that, like, here. I should probably try to remember I've got accessories stashed this way as well. Like the Flinx fur coat that I was actually thinking of a while ago. Okay, let's get ourselves some Ebon Koi. Be like me, I have both but can't get a goblin invasion, <laughs> indeed. It, uh, yes, yes. So here we have a demon torch, actually, with the torch god default. Oh no, wait. It's actually a corrupt torch that's in my inventory, that's why. It's not a demon torch. Um, I could regret this, but I kind of want... Nah, let's just go around. It really doesn't take that long. All right, here's our fishing spot, here's our bait, I can't believe how quickly we're going through bait. Purple clubber fish, that's actually really good for how early you could theoretically get it. It counts as a hammer, I believe. Neon Tetra? Isn't that jungle only? But purple clubberfish is corruption. This biome soup. Oh, I should, uh, just farm eaters this way while I'm here. Also, I could have done that before, when I was on the surface. Probably should, I have 400 health and I'm more than ready. Nice. After a certain point, you have to farm the stuff to trigger one. Oh yeah, yeah, the tattered cloth. It's a lot easier to get on this seed. Because on a normal seed, the tattered cloth, um, you have to go a significant distance, like close to the ocean, before the goblin scouts will spawn. And they don't spawn that quickly. But you run into goblin scouts randomly in the forest uh, in this seed. Ironically, the eye spawned for me the first night I had the health. <laughs> Indeed. I feel like... Like, I know there's obviously going to be a bias whereby I notice the more interesting... Uh, shall we say? The, the more unexpected RNG. But I really... I feel like I get the spikiest RNG with this game. I'll get, like you know, multiple, like, like several blood moons with no money trough, and then three money troughs in a row. That's our first Ebon Koi. We only need one if the fight's only going to last four minutes. Um, I don't know if we can get Armored cavefish here as well is the thing.
But yeah, that'll be 30% damage from our potions. That's not insignificant. I don't think I took the good food or heals last time. That would probably help. Alright, one more Evan Koi, I think. I guess I could try exploring the jungle more to look for the fiberglass fishing rod. 20 to 35% fishing power is, uh... I'm getting more fishing power from my bait than from the from the rod right now. That's a little sad. I don't have any fishing accessories except for the lava proof fishing hook which is totally irrelevant on this seed. I think my fiberglass is 30 but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's an up it's an upgrade from Fisher of Souls in any case. I don't think I can make a fishing rod out of anything either. Tsunami in a bottle is a poor person's cloud in a bottle. Or a poor person's like sandstorm in a bottle, but it's not part of the um, bundle of balloons. Yeah, Chakron balloon is like a poor person's uh, horseshoe balloon. And it's a... Uh, I'll, do, I'll just double check, but it's probably still a dead end. You can combine it with a horseshoe. I'm pretty sure that's it. First time I have seen this game, Andrew Bolton. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's hard to kind of work it out. But I am old, so it's not because you're old. Uh, there is... Oh, we got two Hunter Potions. Uh, it is a game that's been added to for like a decade. And there's more to know about this game than you can fit in your head, honestly. Caught in Surface. Oh no. I really need a pile onto the surface. Alright, let's sell this uh, other fish. I'll just confirm there's one use for Ebon Koi, and that is Wrath Potion. Uh, any good fish can make seafood dinner. You save the quote unquote bad fish for those. Like the, the ones that make potions that are extremely common. Okay, Hunter Potion. We're going to use that with Skeletron Prime as well, but we'll be able to see the Eaters coming before they crash into us. That'll make a pretty big difference. Uh, let's see. Wrath Potion. Here it is. Four minutes of 10% increased damage. Now we just need armored cave fish. It should be here. Let's sell this stuff. Uh, let's upgrade those potions. Fantastic. I have exactly 1,000 dirt. Yeah, I think I'll explore the jungle a bit. And we'll hopefully get a better fishing pole. Okay. 
Okay, as is light. Uh, region and such. Let's not underestimate the jungle. And we'll get a bit further down before I activate this Belunker, because it doesn't have that much duration. Actually, five minutes, yeah, it's not that good. Alright. Oh, I think I did open this already, and there was just too much in my inventory. Oh, that's a living wood tree, isn't it? Oh, I already looted that. What's up there? Nothing? Is there a mirror for every biome? A mirror? Oh, you mean like a... A pylon? There isn't any for Crimson or Corruption, so I think what I'm going to have to do instead is move the uh, move the Snow Biome pylon up closer. Magic Mirror? Because I found the Ice one twice. I think it's just Ice and Regular, which uh, is a bit interesting, weird. Yeah, I think there's only two. Oh, what did I just run into? I just did a dash. Luckily, I was using the Shield of Cthulhu. Counts as an attack. Already my inventory is full. Um, let's drop the jungle grass seeds. Fantastic. Actually, let's heal. Ow, ow, shit, what the, shoo. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. The moment I'm trying to look away. All right, let's jump down to this rail. Is that a mimic? Ow, 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 ow. That was my fault though. It's not a mimic. Uh, too much crap in my inventory. Actually, I don't care about a can of worms. I'll take the aglet. Shove it over here. I don't think I came this way with a spelunking potion earlier. Ooh, there's that cool uh, biome soup again. Give me the health. I wonder why it's like this. Oh, I see, it's the edge. Okay. Well, that's the end of the jungle. Ow. No. No. Up we go. And now we're in the corruption. Going from... Uh, underground glowing mushroom biome to corruption grass. It's kind of subtle, relatively. Let's try and make the most of this last minute of, of Spelunker Potion. What do we have here? Nothing? Cool. Get wrecked. Shadow chest in the jungle. Kind of weird. 
We're in phone serpent territory now. Alright, well, didn't find any more possible fiberglass rods. I don't want to do it again right now. Sell that. I think we've got enough potions saved up. 95 seems good. Um, Wasn't there two things the enchanted boomerang turns into now? Yeah, we can make a flame ring. But I think we're kind of past that. I don't really feel like using a boomerang. Unless it's the fancy new one. I want to see what that's like. The triple one. So all the extra magic mirror. We literally can't stop getting magma snails and I love it. What time is it? 7pm. Caught in surface. That's not happening. Oh, on second thought. How much wood do I have? 600. Okay. This is... Uh, I already put all this stuff here. It's going to be less painful in the long run. Let's move the snow pylon up. We're not going to make this uh, journey up through the snow biome again. The only downside is I won't be able to teleport to do some underground snow fishing. Maybe if I make some water here it'll be fine. Oh yeah, we can land on ice now. Without breaking it. Feels good. Wait, no, no, no. I was just trying to look at the map. Alright, so I want to go almost as high as I can while it still counts as snow biome. Good morning. Hose. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I want to find slime NPCs. So cute. Uh, I don't know how you find them, actually, now that I think about it. I don't remember how it happened. Sorry. They are cute. They act like pets. Like, uh, they'll occupy the same room as another NPC. Okay, I think here is pretty good. We're a little too close to the corruption. Let's bring it down a little bit. And I want somewhere that monsters aren't going to wander into easily. Like here, maybe? Oh, I have a lava absorbent sponge. Get out of here, lava. Could have sworn the sprite on this used to be different. Alright, let's start with the ceiling, actually. And I'll probably do a bit of a taller ceiling than usual actually. It's fine. I was going to build it like here but I guess it's going to be easier to dig into this. Then again I want easy access in and out from the pylon. Uh, let's put it like here. And I want that to just be as high as I can reach.
Why are there ghosts here? Shoo. And then... Something like this. The usual chair and table. And... I wanted to make some ice themed... Maybe I can. Uh, I'm not really seeing like an ice candelabra or something. Let's just do this for now. And then we need some back wall. I have returned from store with ingredients. This will be some lunch kiabata ki bread, salami, ventriciana, ventriciana. Salami, Milano, Greek... Oh, did I already place this? Is this suitable housing? This is suitable housing. Fantastic. Let's put our tinkerer in here before someone else takes it. Cheese marinated in oil, chili peppers, tomato, onion, lettuce. That sounds amazing. Uh, what dimensions did I go for here? 12 by 6 inclusive. Alright, so there. And platforms. Oops. All walls. And table and chair. Whoop. Clicked outside of the game. There we go. Uh, and I need a door, actually. Alright, so that's going to be the mechanic once we get her, but we need someone here to... to make the pylon work first. Who's down there already? The golfer? I don't know, I guess that'll do. And I wonder what time it is. 2 a.m. They should... They should teleport there right now, actually. Yeah, fantastic. Nice. So I'll have to move a bunch of stuff from here that's in the chest, but now we've got a much, much shorter trip to get to the surface. I've got, like, Literally less than two minutes to do the fishing quest on the surface now, though. So we're not doing that. Not right. Not today. What time is it? 3 a.m. Can we get a proper clock in here so we can see what time it really is? Uh, how about... If we use Platinum, does that work? I think we need a little bit of glass, so if I show the guide glass... I don't have any glass right now. Better to store it as sand. More options. Getting hungry now, thanks. Yeah, me too. Okay. Crafting, clocks, uh, what do we got? I could just steal some, uh, steal one from the demon town. Iron and glass and nothing else if we have a kiln. Uh, do we have any marble? It doesn't look that good, actually. Palm wood clock, boreal wood clock. 
rich mahogany. There's all kinds of wood. Slime clock. Meteorite clock. We still haven't found any meteorite. I don't remember if a meteorite has landed. Steampunk clock would be cool. Frozen clock? I kind of do want to see the glass one, and I'm hoping... That'll tell the time precisely, anyway. Uh, how do I make a kiln? Not with glass. What do we need? Iron? Stone? I can't... Oh, here it is. Glass kiln. Any iron plus torch. Alright, fantastic. And here it is. And then we can make a glass clock. Here it is. Please tell me that's going to tell the time precisely. It is not. Did they just make it so that, like, background clocks don't give you the precise time? Or do you need, like, specific types of clock that are, like, higher tier? Kind of like with uh, the stopwatches. It's 6.39 a.m. I guess we could... I could have always just clicked on it to check. Alright, so it's a new day, new quest. Caught in corruption. We can do that. Very, very easily. Why do I have ice torches? Alright. Let's get ourselves some bait. Need a time clock mod? Apparently. Yeah, I could have sworn I remembered being able to see the precise time whenever... Oh, the witch doctor has arrived. Yeah, I definitely didn't have enough NPC homes. Um, I could have sworn I remembered the big... Like, grandfather clocks telling you the precise time. Fishing potion... And that's pretty much it. Got a couple of spelunkers, though. We really need that armored cave fish. Well, I mean, we don't desperately need that specifically, but... We may need every advantage we can get against Skeletron. Uh, let's try a fishing potion. And better bait than apprentice bait, please. Actually, this is going to cost me a bit of fishing potion time, but let's grab the sonar potion. And I'm just not going to pull up every little... every fish that appears. Don't need a pink jellyfish. Now we get an armored cave fish? Really? Well, at least now we know we can get it. I'd like to have more than one, if we can. That's rude. Ba doom 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 doom. -doom. Not gonna lie, the, uh, the imp and the slimes are a little distracting. Oh, 
Wait, I didn't mean to pull that in. Oh well. I thought it said spider fish or something, and that was unfamiliar. Okay, this imp is driving me crazy. Could you please... I wish I didn't put the flink stuff away. You know what? I can just dismiss the imp. That works. Aziz Light? Aziz Light? Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this an is this not enough Aziz light? We haven't found another cave fish yet. I think we just need more fishing power to get these at a decent rate. Probably should have taken the specula so we can make food. I'm not seeing clown approved torching. Clown approved? What do you mean by that? We've got biome torches. Oh, there's our second armored cave fish. Or, I think our third for the entire playthrough, literally. Oops. I wonder if I was too late on that. I don't think that can happen, actually. Like, I don't think you lose bait. Uh, if you're too late pulling it in. Clown did Terraria before Factari Factorio, and he believed in everything being lit up. Oh yeah, I think you told me that ages ago. I love the uh, green glow from the uh, Terra Spark boots. I wonder if I, a dye would work on that. Sneakily farmed at Will's last night? Sneakily farmed? I didn't mean to pull in that bass. Whoops. I don't mind getting the specular fish. That's three seafood dinners. Twelve minutes of... Uh, strong improvements to stats with food. Major improvements, I think it's called. Sneakily, as he didn't tell... Didn't told us to watch, he didn't stream. Bad clown, bad clown. <laughs> Alright, that... No, we didn't get that one. Uh, I was about to say, alright, that's three armored cave fish. That's what I came for, and then we were going to get a fourth. Okay, there's our fourth. Beautiful. Fantastic. We'll take full advantage of the rest of these potions. More time efficient. And now we're getting that spiky RNG again. RNG is lumpy. Oh, clumpy, I think the word was. Is that the quote by Carl Sagan? I don't know about the start of it, but it's something to the effect of randomness is clumpy. Iron crate? Didn't get it. Feels bad. That one though. Almost overfilling out inventory. Don't need a red snapper. 
Has Veldak done Terraria? Good question. Are we going to get one more Armored Cavefish? With our minute left on the fishing? Oh, no. Only Factorio and a few small filler games in between? Wow. I'm playing a lot of XCOM in my own time at the moment, actually. It is... What's the word I'm looking for? The tension never quite ends with XCOM. Armored um, Cavefish! Ow! I... Holy crap! How long have I been here and I didn't know there was a dart trap here? Wow. Um, that was surprising. Wait, where is the... where even is the touch plate? Is it a one-off? No, there it is. I can't even... Is that it there? I can... I can't really even see it. Right, that's the end of our fishing. There it is. Grey pleasure... Uh... Blesher plate? Grey pressure plate. This entire time, uh, I didn't know that there was a dart trap here. Alright, let's go back. Uh, I love the quick stack animation. We actually know where things are. And we got a random... Oh, that's plant... Plant cordage. Alright, let's sell that. Uh, seven armored cave fish. Beautiful. And let's confirm. There's only one use for these. And the only other part of the bottleneck is blink root. Alright, seven. Seven endurance potions. Ah, ah, ah. Father tells his son he was adopted. We are your biological parents now. Pack up the new ones. Will oh no. Oh no. Alright, quick stack. I'll put the sand in uh glass in here. Tungsten. I don't want that taking up space, so I'll make some. Wait, tungsten bullets are different from silver bullets, aren't they? It's not like any silver bar is the recipe, I don't think. Yeah, tungsten bullet is different. Uh, I'm just going to sell the tungsten. I don't want it taking up space. Alright, so we have light, speed, regen, armor, armor, damage, damage... Mana regen, uh, better food, better heals. Maybe I should use. No, I'm I'm scared of using the grab potion in the boss fight because I'll end up going to the top of the map and just dying. Uh, Thorns potion, summoning potion. We'll have one more imp for all the good that'll do. Uh, Hunter Potions. Invisibility and Calming, so there's fewer enemies. And I... Th oh, Heart Reach, definitely. 
Oh, and the Titan Potion, so that we knock back the Eaters. That's about as good as it's probably going to get. And then... Why... Why does a link to best dad jokes start with... Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is good enough. I don't think we could be more prepared. At this point. Ready perfectly? And I want to pull Skeletron to the ocean so we have a nice flat place to fight. Oh, and we've got Feather Falls, if I didn't say so. Been holding onto those for a while. Uh, we've got plenty of shines. I was going to refresh them, but it's fine. Okay. See if I can get there without consuming potions, because I definitely don't want a repeat of running out of a shine potion at the worst possible moment, for example. Let's equip Magiluminescence. And... Down we... Ow! We go. Ouch. Ouch. Please stop. Please stop. Why is it so dark? So I'm going to camp at... Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. I forgot about the worms. I'm not going to be able to camp at the... Uh... Where Skeletron is going to spawn. To get my health back. Or at least... It's not going to be as good as it might otherwise be. We do have the... Regen buff from this, though. Oh! Sneaky. We're only at half health at the moment. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, fine. Buff. Heal. Curse. Let's go. Oh, and I should probably have the damage reduction somehow. Okay. Can, can I get past you, please, sir? Thank you. Oh, this is already so bad. Okay, that's a bit better. Don't you try to cut me off. And that same goes for you. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Up we go. I think we got to the ocean. I think it's all flat from here. It's going to be a lot easier in this area. Just have to... Re really? What? How did I even... How did I go back into the air rut just now? Oh, he's already spitting eyeballs at me, or skulls at me. I need to remember I have to hold down to fall at full speed. His hands are already dead. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, but... Too many eaters. Alright, we're more than half health now, that's good. That's good. I think we got this. I think we got this. We can finally try to set settle into a pattern. 
I can't fall fast enough. Let me through. Nope. I do not have the maneuverability to get through that. I hate these things so much. There we go. No, nope. He's still shooting? Really? 15 seconds till I can heal. I really hate that addition with expert mode. The stupid little skull things. I probably shouldn't be using the B-gun to be honest. Yeah, I probably made that a lot harder on myself, using the B-gun that long. Let me down. Where is he? Okay, maybe for this part I should be using the B-gun. Here we go. Here we go. And he's done. Oof. That was harder than it needed to be. I, my instinct was to head towards the Falling Star. That's suboptimal. Alright, we have access to the dungeon. At last. Fantastic, indeed. The bees were very, very good at, like, killing the hands without me even trying. But I definitely should have, should have been using the uh, mini shark when it was just the skull coming straight at me. Okay. Uh, why don't we go to the dungeon while we've still got these buffs? There's nothing that good that we're going to find in the Skeletron treasure bag. There's like a, a weird accessory that throws bone things at enemies when you sh uh, when you attack but uh, I don't think it's necessarily worth an inventory slot an accessory slot GG indeed all right in we go I also could have done better remembering that if you have a Featherfall Potion, you can hold down ball faster. Oh, I should definitely be leaving a trail of light here. I, I feel like it is darker than normal. Maybe it's just the colors. Ow, 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 I didn't see that. Alright, here's our first chest, but we need some... Uh, we need a key. I don't think I have any... Oh, I do, Danger Sense Potion. Fantastic, we can see the stupid uh, crumbling bricks. Get them out of here. Yeah, the DPS, the single target DPS with the mini shark is uh, just a bit stronger than the B gun. I probably should have paid attention to that. That's a lot of enemies there. How about... Oh, I can't even get there. There's a heart statue. Uh, are we sure I can't get there? I think if I have the... Um, the Molten Pickaxe, I could probably dig my way through that. We can now get more summons. Fantastic. Oh, and I forgot to use the extra summon that I had available. Whoops. Summon is actually... Uh, summon is actually the best class in the dungeon. Especially in hard mode.
get out of here. I kind of miss how Calamity made these things break instantly and reliably. Now we have an alchemy table. Uh, have this. And I should probably carry both of these home. Oh, there's our mechanic. Nice. Trying to look at my inventory while I cover myself here. I uh, have some banners. have a skeleton relic. have some rope and potions. Give me the mechanical lens. And now we can always see traps. And... There isn't really anything else that I need from you urgently. Oh wow. I've never seen this before. There's a lava trap that's going to fill up the dungeon with lava. That would have been different. We've got water candles at home. Then again, I guess it doesn't hurt to have more. And it doesn't hurt to reduce the enemy spawn rate in the dungeon. Uh, my inventory's so full though. Oh, we got the shadow key. Alright, that settles it, I think. Let's go home. And bewitching table can go here. That's our first buff station. Uh, where else do I want to put it? Probably here. Oh, I should... I can't actually teleport to him. I should talk to the witch doctor, see if there's anything... Uh, anything I've forgotten that he can do for me. We got the Book of Skulls. They are far less formidable than the skulls launched by Skeletron. Uh, Blue Moon, that is pretty strong. 64 melee damage mace. I think we can make a stronger one with uh, health, uh, Hellstone bars though, right? No, we can't make a mace with Hellstone bars. Why did I think that? Okay. Uh, anyway, let's open these lockboxes. We got Flame Lash. Oh, wow, that's ridiculously lucky. Uh, best pre-hard mode mage spell. Let's go. Double hitting controllable homing missile. Uh, and we also got the treasure magnet, which I like to swap out from the boots to pick something up real quick. Sun Fury just immediately superseded the blue moon. And we got the Hellwing bow, which is a bit of a meme. Uh, it's not a material, so I'm just going to sell it. I could potentially use the Sun Fury. Oh, that damage. Okay, let's maybe try it. Why can I fight something quickly and easily? I want to get a feel for the damage here. does not stop swinging, huh? Alright. What do you got? A zombie? 
Where's a eater when you need one? It's a little... I'm not used to the flails anymore. It's a little hard to aim. But yeah, that's actually pretty good. It won't keep eaters away like the sword did. But the damage, though... Okay. I think we can delete the Eater of Worlds pretty damn easily now. I can't remember why I wanted to kill him again at this point. Let's put the Book of Skulls in here. Bone Glove. Uh, we should probably go get ourselves some Shadow Chests. Although... I already got the number one thing that I want from... Number one and number two things that I want from Shadow Chests. That was ridiculously and unusually lucky. I'm just going to buy another one of these instead of going to get it. Casually one twentieth of my accumulated wealth. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, wait, I didn't even need one. I'm looking to reforge. Superior? Nope. Nimble, murderous, nope. Deadly, nope. Uh, broken is not so good. Masterful? Plus 16% damage, minus 14% mana cost. Could be more to it, but that's pretty good. Um, I will absolutely use that. And we want an alchemy table instead of this little thing. Uh, I also need the sink to go here. And I don't have anywhere to put this water candle now. That's rope. We haven't needed that in a while. Um, I need a platform for the water candle. Down here, I guess. What am I going to use the B gun? Slot 2? Let's put this weapon away. That seems good. Don't know that I really need a, the imp staff in a quick slot all the time, but it's probably fine. I wish I had a potion of return. I could have had a potion of return. Uh, how many can I make right now? We've got the alchemy table, so the ingredients will go further. I think it just takes obsidian fish as far as the rare ingredients. Potion of return, obsidian fish, and recall potion. We can make at least 10. 15 is pretty good. That was decent RNG. Alright, I'm going to store the recall potions here. Um, and I'm only going to use the potion of return if it's an emergency or if it's going to save a decent amount of walking. Okay, let's uh, favorite that. I guess I don't need a random bottle anymore. Oh, let's just fill it with water. And then... We've only got 20 bones so far. Can we do anything with that? If we wanted to make bone armor, we would need 150. Uh... 
used to be one of my favorites, but I think I'm going to skip it entirely. Uh, let's see. Spinal tap? Don't think so. Void bag. We need 30. Damn it. Anything else? I think it's just the void bag that I'm interested in. Chest lock. Can be used to lock some chests. That's different. Uh, Titan potion. I hardly ever use those. Pianos. Lol. Fertilizer. Causes saplings to instantly grow into trees. Um, wow. Oh, thank goodness they added that to the game. The item we've all been waiting for. Maybe the item Americans have been waiting for. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's pretty much just the void bag that I'm interested in. So we need 10 more bones for that. Uh, let's see. Sell, sell. No, don't sell the bones. God damn it. Uh, mechanical lens. We need... Multicolor wrench, mechanical ruler, and 60 wire. And I need to make room for the mechanic to move in. Which means I need to move the golfer. Which means I have to do a bunch of walking again. Not if I use a potion of return. So how am I going to do this? Potion of Return. Use Pylon. Uh, actually, I need to get down here. Which... I can't decide which way would be easier. Probably this way. With the rails. Oh, what's our fishing quest? Caught in Corruption. Okay. A bigger light? Wait, what? What's a bigger light? Oh, wow. Well. All the wires I didn't remember. Right as day. Beep, boo, beep, do, beep, 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 beep. Aziz light! Aziz light, indeed. Night owl potion go. Shine Potion go. Oops. Alright. Up we go. Haven't been here for a while. Is that a chest? No, it's not. I'm finding all kinds of new and exciting traps. then... God damn it. The mechanic moved in here. Why did she move in here now? Maybe because it's night time? Bruh. I'm gonna have to make another room. Missing a wall. Of course it is. Okay, we need table, chair, door, light source, suitable, golfer, and then we go back through here, which we couldn't have done because there's not two people here. Uh, mechanic. What time is it? 9pm. 
Yeah, she should all automatically teleport. There it is. Fantastic. All right, we can come talk to the mechanic whenever we want now. Uh, so we need every wrench and wire cutter and at least 60 wire. I could go scavenge it from somewhere else, but I don't feel like it. Multicolor wrench. We need the... I don't think we need a ruler. We need the triangle thingy. Mechanical ruler. Whoa! Creates measurement lines on screen for block placement. Equipable. Oh, is that all it does? I thought maybe it could, like, leave measurements behind or something. Okay. Uh, and then we make the grand design. Which can do all of those things. Mechanical ruler on and off. All right, cool. So you can toggle that whenever you want. Nice. Cool. So now we can always see... Traps and disable them. Now we need a chest over here. Take a gold chest. And we're going to put wire and stuff in here. What's missing here? Food. And I don't need to waste honey fin now. Okay. Should we go open some shadow chests? I think bones are included in Titan potions, so I'll keep those there. Money fin. And go back in the money trough. Back in the piggy bank, I should say. Still carrying all those buff potions. It's probably fine. For a second there, I forgot that lava is no threat anymore. Almost there. Actually, no, we're not. Um, maybe I should have gone this way. Uh, this is probably easier. Let's take some regen iron skin food, and that'll do. Oh, and let's play around with our flame lash. I can't believe how quickly we got this. Usually it is quite the ordeal uh, to get a flame lash. going to be a lot easier. Well, not that much easier to be honest, but I guess easier to get in position uh, to kill the wall of flesh without building an arena. Oh, that's a mimic. I didn't think there were two chests here. Another magic mirror. No more shadow chests here. Doesn't look like it. Yep, 
we are well and truly creeping towards the top dog status for pre-hard mode. I haven't actually been down here. Any more shadow chests? Nope. What's this? Unholy trident? Uh... 51 magic damage. That seems pretty good, actually. Hmm. This one's 44 magic damage, but it can hit twice. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. 51... Uses 6 mana, uses 13 mana. Uh, let's try this. Does it pierce, though? I think it does. It pierces. Oh, wow. That's really strong. Was this always... Is this new, or...? It feels familiar. Like, I think maybe... I only ever got this in hard mode, or something? Let's put our occasional potions away. Um, quick stack. Wrath potion can go here, I guess. All right, cool. Let's turn off the imps. Crits for a hundred. Ow. Alright, it's not that great, but it's almost like, uh... It's a, it's a bit like a worse, better... laser rifle before hard mode. Which is not a bad thing. Is this... Oh! So that's what was happening. You can hold this down now. And it'll fire another... Fireball as soon as the first one explodes. And there's another... F We've found two more Flame Lashes. Either they changed the odds on this one, or we've we've been very lucky. Uh, actually, that's kind of bad. Just now, I was controlling the fireball like this, and then the moment it exploded, it would cause me to throw another fireball right into the floor here. That's not so good. I guess uh, it's not difficult to get the timing down so that you don't waste a shot like that. But like, literally the frame that it explodes, yeah no, it's actually kind of hard. Like it'll hit twice, it can't hit twice instantly. You probably let go the moment it's about to hit again. I don't know. It's not that much mana wasted, I guess, but still. Oh, and another Obsidian Rose. We're getting some ridiculous rolls here. Not that we need another one. Definitely makes the DPS considerably better. It's gonna be it's gonna be more useful more often than not. More often than it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I guess. Uh can we just dig through this? I don't wanna carry these bricks. Get out of here. One more shadow chest. 
We've got how many meteorite bars now? 48. And we haven't seen a single meteor. Pretty sure water walking goes in here. We're not even using water walking anymore. But quick stacking them for selling, I guess, is fine. Uh, let's get our imps back. Still got some more demon town over this way. Yeah, it literally... It shoots another fireball before I can even, like, ask it not to. It's gonna be way higher DPS than it was. At the cost of always wasting one more shot. Um, I don't exactly want to leave this voodoo doll here. There we go. Just one more shadow chest. Just one more shadow chest. And I don't see one here, actually. Uh, nope. No shadow chest this time. I'd also like to try and get, uh, enough meteorite bars to make the highest damage, um, mage set for pre-hard mode and for a significant chunk into hard mode as well for that matter if you don't mind being a last cannon um i wish i'd realized and remembered that this was an option before actually it definitely would have made skeletron a bit easier i think we got a demon sight How do I get down here? As is light. Is that the end of Demon Town? It most definitely is not. Alright, one more shadow chest, here we go. Uh, stuff that we already have except for the pet. Let's just stack some of that away, shall we? And... I think I'd better put these in here. Quick stack. Take that, take that. And can we not pick this up? Why not? I I definitely have an inventory space. Uh, what the? Seriously? Wait. Oh, it's the pet. I I can. It's our pet mimic. Uh, maybe I should take a little break. That was, uh, genius. Alright, we got 76 meteorite bars. We can make, we need 10, 30, 45. That's all for the media set. 5, 6, and 5. It's one less defense than the jungle set. But instead of... The jungle set gives you a lot more mana and mana usage uh, reduction. 
but instead of 12% crit and 6% magic damage, uh, this thing just gives you 21% better magic damage. It's huge. Um, it's actually the best DPS that you can get early in hard mode for a significant chunk as well. Get an easily obtainable spell like Crystal Storm. Uh, and you can use that armor set to take on Duke Fish Run. Okay. So I think I will actually start to use the loadouts now. Because I want to have a glass cannon loadout. And something a bit more conservative. Stack this away. I'll take you. Thank you. Um, sell the shadow ornate key. How many uses are there for obsidian rose? Actually, no, I think I'll hoard this regardless. I might even just want to save it for like another playthrough if I get frustrated trying to find this thing. Because it can be a pretty big pain. Let's grab ourselves a chest. Accessories can go in here. Oh, it's a material? Since when? Treasure magnet. It makes... Oh, I remember seeing this. The Hand of Creation. That's kind of wild. Alright, let's... I guess that means I would be keeping it here just because of the treasure magnet thing. Once I have it. Um, I'm not really interested in keeping the Hellwing Bones. Resto Potions I will keep, actually. They're the same heal per second as the uh, the fin, honey fin. Give those back. And I don't need an umbrella. Well, no. I really don't. It's not a material or anything. Feels weird selling flame lashes. I'm just not going to do it. Until we're overflowing with them. Alright, let's get ourselves our DPS set. Or at least magic DPS set. As I recall, the ranged DPS pre-hard mode is really lackluster at best. Uh, what do we got? 15% uh, increased range damage, and I think the set gives you like 10% ammo reduction. It's It's not that great. I don't know if I want to use the jungle armor anymore, though. 12%. We lose a lot of damage, gain a bit of crit, gain a bunch of mana, and gain one defense. I don't see myself swapping out media armor for jungle armor. So I'll just sell that. I could see myself swapping it out for melee or ranged, but... That's a different story. Alright, we'll sell the Hellwing Bow. And Resto Potions I was going to put in here, I think. Anything else we want to do with Media? Probably Space Gun. And 
again. We could always use Star Cannon. Actually, I was going to say Fallen Stars are a lot more common, but I actually haven't saved up that many. But you'd only use this maybe on the Wall of Flesh, uh, on a boss or two, like once. Um, but I found the, the Bee Gun and Hive Pack is actually shockingly good against the Wall of Flesh. So we're not going to bother making that, I think. Um, Media Hamax is just a worse one of, a worse version of what we've already got. Is that actually all for Media? We can make ammo with it, but like... Especially considering how hard it's been to get Media Bars. I don't see myself doing that. It's actually less damage than the Silver Bullets, but it bounces. 8% crit strike, very weak, extremely weak knockback. Yeah, I think I'd just stick with the Silver Bullets. Demon Scythe is too awkward to use, even though it's very powerful. Don't think we have use for a vile thorn at this point. So we got Sun Fury, which the damage is great, but I think I'll end up not using it because I just get hit too easily with it. B gun, mini shark, unholy trident, flame lash. Pretty much it. Oh. I could maybe grab a space gun. Nah, we're not going to run out of mana. Never happen. Okay, let's put the Featherfall Potions in here, and Teleportation Potion, Teleportation Potion, that was pretty disappointing, um, ow, oh that was a waste, I can go back there though at least, that's actually the limit of where I ended up exploring once, so maybe... Maybe I will go up there. Let's see. Shine, Swift, Regen, Iron Skin, Food. That's about all the buff I want to spend on this. Let's do it. What time is it? 8 p.m. a weird little demon altar. Oh wow. The way this auto fires again so quickly, it's actually going to be incredibly good against the uh, the eaters. Look at that. I can pretty much just hold down the button and point uh, whatever I want to die. Don't think we're going to find any more floating islands this way. Oh yeah, we don't take fall damage anymore. I forgot. These giant trees, though. Spooky. I'm pretty sure I've never seen a regular map that has this many living trees.
Like, not even close, actually. The AoE as well. Flame Lash is incredible now, especially against these targets. Wow. Yeah, it is it does not feel particularly dangerous up here anymore. Oh, oh, is that what I think it is? Uh, those are dungeon bricks. Hello. I thought it was a pyramid at first, but it's different. Okay. And then? Oh, this is like the jungle temple. Okay. I guess we're not going in there till hard mode. And we can fight flying snakes already? They're actually not that scary even now. I don't know if they've been toned down, but I doubt it. Uh, no, they probably have been toned down, now that I think about it. Alright, well that's where the temple is. A meteorite has landed. And it apparently landed right next to us. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need any more meteorite bar. Got it all from the underworld instead. This actually would have been incredible against Skeletron. Oh, we literally couldn't have had it against Skeletron. What am I saying? Need a shadow key. Oh, that's our second meteorite. Okay. At least uh, our second meteorite, I should say. Fantastic. We go. So I guess we're really at the phase where we're just getting ready to trigger hard mode. Um, we've got the dungeon to clear out. Like two or three items that you can only get there. And preparation for wall of flesh is going to be practically zero. Compared to usual. We've well and truly got the damage now. I might even... Flame Lash might even be the way to go against Wall of Flesh. With this auto, uh, auto casting, the DPS is just so much higher. Landramilla Scarlet. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, I don't want to get too cocky, but... Yeah, I think we're at the point where we own free hard mode now. Despite the spooky seed. Another banner. Uh, I haven't actually... I didn't quite make it to the ocean on this side last time. It doesn't feel remotely difficult this time. There might even be another underwater tunnel. But I don't know... Like, we already got the water walking boots, so... I don't know if there's going to be anything to be excited about down there. Wait, is that... The ocean is big enough that we got far enough away from the corruption that this is a regular ocean biome, apparently. 
Or at least the music thinks so. I wonder if it's possible to spawn some sharks and stuff here. Probably not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't have a flipper. Um... Um... There's... Alright, looks like there's not going to be a underground... An under-ocean tunnel. Total devastation. Uh, but there are some water chests. It's like a regular ocean, in fact. I think there's just the one, as far as I could tell. Tried it. Yeah, nothing too exciting here. Another one? Flipper? I'll take it. Uh, I don't really have time and I'm not too interested in the rest. Sell this. Got another burger. Menacing Flipper. Is there any other kind? And we got our thousandth torch. Fantastic. I think we've well and truly got enough blink root now. Water leaf is blooming for some reason. Oh, I wonder if we're getting the under underground rain right now. Yep. Underground rain. Because of course. Caught in sky lakes and surface. Let's try fishing that up. Get some bait before we go. Actually, let me stack away all this other stuff first before we get up there with a full inventory. Flipper can go in here. And I don't really care about the rest. I still don't know where I'm going to get a depth meter. I might have to look it up. Isn't it like uh, piranha and maybe skeleton or something? I still don't have wings. I should probably look harder for wings before we trigger hard mode. Alright, here's our fishing spot. Hopefully we can manage it despite the distractions. Double imp certainly doesn't hurt that end. Oh, we can get Ebon Koi here. It did say Sky Lakes and Surface, right? I don't know what time it is, though. It's possibly the next day already. Definitely harder when I can't defend myself. Alright, let's try a little longer. And I might leave just in case it's already too late for this quest. It's going to get a little bit easier as more enemies get stuck like that though. Oh, 
Okay, let's leave. Uh, what time is it? 8 a.m. We probably just missed that quest. As a small kid, when I asked my mum what's the time, she replied, What time would you like it to be? What is that supposed to mean? Caught in Sky Lakes and Surface. Okay. So we've got basically the same quest again, as far as we're concerned. Um, more damage potions? Only got one. Can we get some more health, please? I should probably put down a... If I haven't already. Yeah, uh, let's put down a heart lantern here. Let's get some more chain. Where, where is it, though? We've definitely got the lead bars. Here it is. Uh, and some more heart lanterns. Whoa. Casually 11 heart lanterns. I think she jokingly wanted to know what I am up to. It's smart. If someone asks... Oh, like when you were a really little kid. I see. I thought it was like thinking they're clever or something. Okay, sell that. We're at full health again. We got double minion. Let's go triple minion. And see if we can get this done. And I'll just confirm before we go. Actually. Caught in Sky Lakes and Surface. So we should be able to catch it here. If I'd quickly switched on the slime mount, I wouldn't have taken damage there. Would have bopped him on the head instead. Fishing up here is challenging. Just a little bit. Maybe I should just stay in this mount. Oh, we're gonna... Wow. I never thought of that. We could get to space this way. Oh my god. If I if I turn off my imps, which I don't want to do right now because I literally just consumed a summoning potion so I could have three. But I could y we we get we get so many Eaters of Souls, and they have so much health, that I could use the Slime Mount to get to space, just by bouncing off their heads. I've actually used the e, uh, the Eye of Cthulhu that way before, but we can do this whenever we want. It is rather difficult to see... Uh, what parts of the sky we've explored on the map. If we look very closely somewhere, there's a very subtle difference in the color. But that's about it. Oh, that's why I can't move. I've wasted my honey. That's why I'm not firing a fireball right now. Rip honey. Alright, let's, let's attempt to fish. A 
I swear the, uh... Normally it wouldn't take this long to get a bite. Hmm. That's something I didn't think of, but it's not exactly viable. We get so many souls, uh, eater, eaters of souls, that we could probably get an entire armor set this way. But if you can casually kill eaters of souls like that, you probably have better armor already. Alright, could you guys be persuaded to stop? Thank you. Could you just build a small box to sit in while fishing? Where's the sport in that? I kind of want to try to find a sky lake, to be honest. I have a feeling that it, even though it says sky lakes and surface, maybe it actually has to be a sky lake. Alright, I know I used up her summoning potion before, but let's turn the imps off. And we're going to bounce off the eaters. And probably go straight up to the sky island. We're getting higher with each bounce. Just there you can see the subtle difference in explored or not explored. It's not something we can check quickly and easily. Um, but yeah, I think I'll try... Just jumping off this way? <gasps> no, 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 no! And low gravity will take me too high and instantly kill me, because that's how this map works. I just wanted to glide down this way, looking for another island. Um, just have that was a it was a good strategy. We just have to be a bit more careful with that. Or if I wanted to take an awfully long time. Uh, to try it all on. We could go here and then go straight up, go here, go straight up, and so on, but I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's get ourselves some Featherfall potions. We actually got two out of the three uh, pieces of ancient shadow armor just on that one trip. Okay, sell this. And this. And probably put the guide voodoo doll away. Up we go. Alright, I'm going to try it from right here. Actually, no, I think I do want to start... If I just tap jump from up there, it should be okay. Have you ever played Shapes? As in Shapes.io? Like a kind of factory-ish game, kind of? Uh, actually, yes. Harvey UK? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we are here.
I might have to accumulate a few eaters before this will work. Otherwise they'll die before we get there. This is probably enough already. Up we go. That didn't quite work out. We don't need that many bounces because we go further each time. <laughs> Here we are. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Bad. Oh my god, let me leave. Jesus. Bad harpies. Alright, we're gonna sell this, sell this. I haven't used a safe yet. Um, let's heal up. I should get another bucket of honey. Let's check on our fishing quest while we wait for our natural health regen. Sky lakes and surface. It's still the same day. Actually, I wonder if... Yeah, we can just sit in the honey like this if we want. Just vibing. Okay. Uh, so we have our portal up here. We have... Regen, Iron Skin, Light... Speed, food, featherfall, and I'm just gonna tap jump. Oh no, 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 not like this. Are you kidding me? I can't see the harpies until they're this close. And they bumped into me and knocked me upward. Uh, and now I can't teleport back up. Oh my god. Okay. I see how it is. I think I'm going to take a little break there. Actually, I should have taken a break ages ago. I'll throw up some words on stream and I'll be a few minutes. The fact that the knockback from the harpies knocks you up is extremely not helpful in that context. Alright, copy link. Properties, there we go. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? What are we doing for words? A couple of seconds left. Fantastic. Alright. Um, I think I want to return to the dungeon. No, I really want to find wings and a sky island. Like, we could make our own uh, sky lake with blackjack and hookers if we really want to. But I'd really like to try to find, uh, find wings without fishing, if at all possible. Uh, I actually don't want imps at the moment because I want to use the slime mount to bounce up. And would you stop? Thank you. There we go. Oh, the uh, death, death weed is blooming. I really should use the slime mount more. Like, I get used to using it uh, for difficult boss fights without arenas, but I should learn to use it for the sheer utility of it moving around as well. Tentacle spike. Oh, we already had those. Alright. We need, like, maybe three or four eaters underneath us. This will do. And up we go. It's really not difficult. It's sort of self-sorts. Okay. The hard part is this part, actually. <laughs> okay. The hard part is this launch without being interrupted and shot into space. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not liking how it's impossible to not waste a shot when this happens. But I'm absolutely loving the DPS of the auto relaunch of the magic missile if we are just doing direct attacks. Right, this way now. Oh my god, let me through. Let me through! Holy crap! The spawn rate up here is just insane, and we can't see what's coming. Let me put some death weed in here. What is this? Spicy pepper. I don't think we need to hoard those anymore. Flame Lash is a great early game item. I wouldn't call it early game, but yes, yes it is. It is a great free hard mode item. Uh, Captain Grimm, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's just do some harvesting while we heal. How did I miss that? Oh, because the the refresh rate isn't as fast as as the dash. Okay. I think we have officially reached practically infinite deathweed. And blink root for that matter. Fantastic. Okay. 
Okay. Um, now, if only we had practically infinite uh, shark fins. So we could use hunter potions up there and not be surprised by invisible harpies. Let's go. Oh wow, oh, we're falling so slow, I don't like it. Okay. This way now... No! Holy... Okay, down please. There we go, there we go, that's all I want. That's all I wanted. Uh, maybe that jump was too soon. I'm scared. That was surprisingly, shockingly close to being too soon. Wow. I couldn't have made that closer if I'd meant to. Uh, but we found a sky lake on the bright side. This, this is one of the two things that were exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, let's go... Over here now. Don't die this way, please. Don't die this way, please. Don't die this way, please. Fantastic. Maybe I should be using the bees instead. For this area. Okay, I think we can jump again now. I think. That was actually kind of dangerous. Uh, but now we're out of double jumps, we've got pocket boots instead. It's going to be a lot easier slash safer. I think I've been up here already. It's hard to see the difference on the map, but... I think I have actually covered... No, I can see the edge of it now. We're actually covering new territory. Alright, cool. Uh, we didn't find another Sky Island. Alright, so now we're going to do it again. And it's probably a bad idea to look for... Oh, I didn't even realize. No, I did realize. I tried this earlier. Just how high we're going to go. Look at that! I think one more bounce is almost going to be lethal. I can cancel it, though. Oh, cr Wow. We're going through a lot of potion of returns this way. The bee gun is cool, but kind of redundant if you manage to get the bee's knees. Uh, I wouldn't quite say that. The bee gun with... Oh, I didn't have the hive pack active. Well, there's your problem. Uh, the bee gun with the hive pack is actually... I, I thought it was a meme. Uh, like, I was joking at the time, but I tried it against the wall of flesh. And there is no easier way to kill the wall of flesh. It's actually hilarious. I don't think we're finding another Sky Island over this side. At least, not on this trip. Actually, you know what? I kind of thought that would kill me. Um, I was really curious if going off the edge of the map would just kill us. To the left or right. Yeah, I don't think there's any Sky Islands in this general area. So our options for wings are fishing at the Sky Lake. Or trying even harder to find islands. I think I'll just head towards the Sky Lake. And if we happen to find something on the way, all the better. 
Okay. Boing. 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 Uh, I almost went too far. Amazing. Maybe I should have brought the umbrella. No, I've got Featherfall. We are, like, using an umbrella right now. I'm kind of glad I have this trail, otherwise, uh... It'd be sort of harder to see what I'm doing here. Especially as the audience. Alright, so we're gonna grab ourselves an Eater of Souls or two. They're not just gonna spawn zombies here, right? Right? Or have I stumbled on... No, I don't think I have stumbled on the safest place on the surface. Well, I probably have, to be honest, because it'll spawn more zombies. But the fact that it spawned when... Here we go. Up we go. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not even close. What wasn't close? Alright, now we have to try and get up here without dying. Fantastic. Now the really hard part. Fishing. Oh, I like that there's three clouds up here. I feel a lot safer with those above my head. Alright. Fishing is go. I should probably get a fishing potion out. Whoops. My habit of jumping isn't good right now. This is actually a surprisingly decent spot. Let me down. I can't believe I've still only got 20% uh, fishing power on the... on the fishing rod. At least we've got a banner here now. jumped there to dodge, but that would have been bad. Okay. Alright. You want some? Feel free. You clutch teleport back to base. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've had to do that a couple of times. Getting really, really bad fishing luck. Oh my god. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Bad harpy. Maybe I should bite the bullet and build a shack up here. I'm finding it very hard to pay attention to the fishing. Also, we're just not getting very good fish. It's It's been nothing but bass since we got here. Oh, 
Wait, don't tell me. Surely this counts as a as a sky lake for fishing purposes. Right? Why am I only getting bass though? Alright, let's do this thing. Just a little... Little tiny safety shack. That should do it. Can I even get through that? What if I put a door? I've gone to the dark side. What is that called? Lesion block. Alright, we need a door. And... We need it right about here. Fantastic. Alright, we're not here for the harpies right now. We're here for the fishing. Should have at least gotten a crate or something else by now. Yeah, I feel that. Definitely. Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> we got a crate. Uh, sky crates are much harder to find. So if, if we're hoping to get wings this way, it's going to take a minute. That is a lot of harpies. This is like halfway to dragging the spawner slider all the way to maximum in a... What? Really? Let's throw that harpy banner down. You know what? Why can't I hit them? Bruh. Speak of the crate and it shall appear, indeed. So where is this exactly? Oh, it's quite close. It's like straight up from where our pylon is. That's good. I'd much prefer to find the wings by visiting Sky Islands, but they might not even be on this map. Damselfish. Alright, so it's official. This is a Sky Lake. taking way too long. Um, well, at least that works. Should probably take a fishing potion. But first I want to confirm that we've even still got a quest up here. Improve these potions. And damselfish. I think those are for calming potions. Normally I'd just use damselfish to make seafood dinner, but 
Uh, calming potions actually kind of a big deal in this uh, on this seed. And I don't really need balloon puffer fish. Lesion block. It's probably just a cosmetic building material. You can make... Oh yeah, I think we saw this before. You can make those chests out of it. Alright. That's something to consider. Um, where's my building material? Here it is. Okay. Sir Angler. What do you got for me? Caught in underground tundra. That's over here. Uh, I want to see if... I want to confirm that putting water here would make it underground tundra. So, let's get ourselves a bunch of wet bombs. 30 should be enough, I imagine. And... Some regular bombs. We should breed a cow which can be farmed in the water. They float and could get bigger and fatter if we farmed them in seawater, burgers will become seafood. What? Big brain? I'm, I'm scared. Uh, let's get the lava absorbent sponge out. What the? Where? Did I not? I definitely heard the sound. Oh, here it is. Where I threw out the uh, money trough. Alright, down goes the lava. Get out of here. I'm gonna make a spot right here for water fishing. Theoretically. I'm pretty sure this will count as underground tundra. We're hearing the music for it after all. Alright, that's the end of that. And... Could I get up here, please? Let's get some bombs. Why am I so fast? What? Oh, it's because of the ice? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ouchie. That didn't hurt very much at this point. Yeah, it feels weird. I'm actually faster on ice. Acceleration is off the charts. More bombs. Should be more than enough. And wet bomb go. Alright, let's try fishing that. Now that is a mega wrinkle brain idea. Well, 
Is that... Wait, 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 wait. I've never seen this before. A mimic is hopping around before it's even been... Is it a mimic? What is this? It seems to want a key from the dungeon. Well, I can't... I can't provide the said key right now. But I'm guessing... I'm guessing this is a renewable way to get stuff from dungeon chests after... After you've uh, opened it up. It's so cute though. It's just hopping along. Alright. Let's grab ourselves some... Quest fish. Hopefully. I wonder how much of the... What was that? I wonder how much of the new things I've seen are the new version of Terraria, or how many of them are just for this seed. Because some of them I really like, to the point where I could see myself only playing this seed. Can we please get one fish? Something that confirms this is underground tundra, preferably. As far as the fishing is concerned. There we go. Frost Daggerfish. Pretty sure. I don't know, you can probably get that on Surface Tundra, but... I don't think this is going to count as Surface Tundra. Probably? That's a bat. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, the timing. There we go. Uh, keep your doors closed, please. Thank you. There it is. There isn't some hidden mechanic whereby magma snails aren't as good bait in non-lava, right? I hope not. Apprentice bait, fuzzy carrot. Uh, usually when you get this mount, it's like, oh, that's nice, whatever, sell or something. But a couple of playthroughs ago, it actually took me so long to get boots that when I got this mount, it was completely relevant. And that's terrible. Uh, let's just sell that. And then, what time is it? 1am? We can get another fishing quest in about three minutes. Where's the extractinator? I think I must have moved it. Uh, it probably got quick stacked. But to where, I'm not sure. Uh, here, Extractinator. It's around here somewhere. I hope. Well, I guess it's not... The stuff that we get from the Extractinator is not that exciting at this stage. Alright, what time is it now? 2 a.m. 3 a.m. exactly. Let's head to the dungeon. Should probably make like a... I was going to say make a rail to the dungeon, but... Well, actually, no, that seems like a pretty good idea. 
We could at least do it from the surface across. Chicken nuggy? Nom. Screens or so. Oh, stop it. The terrain on the surface really sucks. It's not fun to traverse it. Okay, here we go. And trim. Take all the wire we can get. That's rude. And trim. Do I even need grav potions at this point? Kind of. 5.22 a.m. It's a new day. But I'm not going to worry too much about the fishing right now. Switch that on. Sometimes the uh, light switches are actually connected to traps as well. Oh, that's annoying. There we go. I still don't have a key. Can I get a key? That's not a key. Let's get some healing in here. I actually don't have a shine potion handy. I might drop the... Oh, I wasn't using the shark tooth necklace. Good job. Alright, that spike setup is just a little bit much. Let's just dig through that. And here's our first key. Fantastic. Alright, um... I kind of want to go back to the first chest, but it's too far. Oh, there's another key. Damn it. Yeah, I think I'll probably go with a different melee weapon. The, the swing range on this is just a bit short, even though the damage is really good. Let's 
Those look kind of cool. We should have enough bones now to make the void bag. Finally. Carefully. And what do we get? A yo yo. The last. Probably the last thing I wanted to see. Um. Can't really linger in this room. Right now. Oh, there's nothing down there? Wait, what? Oh, it goes this way. Alright, danger sense. There we go. Fantastic. Get out of here, spikes. Come on, let me out. Oh my god. Minions, please hit the skulls. Oh my god, not like this. No. Seriously. That was just rude. Okay, let's clean up our inventory a little bit. And sell that. Sell that. Why do I still have the bait? Uh, water candle should probably go in the money trough. And lava absorbent sponge definitely should. Sapphire can go over here. Spikes are useless. And wire... And stack in there. Uh, I'd love to go back and find that chest, but I have a feeling it's not going to be there. The one we saw here. Oh, let's get some shine potions while we're at it. Shine... Night Owl, Swiftness, we're out of cactus, no we're not, how much cactus do we have? 300, fantastic, we need some iron skin, we did, did we just run out of something for regen potions? I think we did. Uh, we need the orange mushrooms, I think, for those. Do they even regenerate on this seed? Certainly hope so. Um, alright, let's get some lead ore. Make a bunch of iron skin. And then... Food is fine for now. Uh, vile mushroom. Becomes vile powder. Wait, what? Wait, where is this other vile mushroom? There we go. Okay. Back in. Oh, there's spikes there as well, because of course there are. Buff. And I've lost the ability to 
I really hate the silence debuff. Oh my god. Okay. Just, just let me get through this little tunnel. And of course now it doesn't want to collapse. Alright, what do we got here? I already opened this one. We've got a bubble gun. Wait, what? Isn't this... I think I must be getting something confused because this looks like... This looks like one of the weapons from Duke Fishrun, except it's a lot weaker. A am I wrong? Or... Like, is this the same weapon? Well, I'll definitely prefer that to the, uh... Uh... The mace. DPS is not that great, but it's very good and easy at keeping enemies at bay. That may be better than it looks. Rapid fire, multiple hits, low mana cost. Yeah, it's not bad. I used the hell out of the bubble gun from Duke Fisheron. This is just that bit weaker. A lot weaker. <laughs> to say the least. But I mean, look how well it keeps this many bones back. It's incredibly easy to use. Did we open this? Yeah, we did. Is it random whether I get silenced by these things? see what's going on with that floor because what the no no stop stop bad slime uh, because too many wires double dart trap it's bad news all around all right what do we got handgun that's good um i don't have any room though here is our first biome chest And a demon altar. Okay. Ow. Uh, let's see. Quick stack, perhaps? Why did I get another money? Oh, it's the same money trough. Don't. Alright, trash that. Uh, eat that. Trash that. Trash that. And pick up. Fantastic. What do we have here? Murasama. Uh, I would probably be using that now if not for the bubble gun. Hunter potions are so precious. Like, more so than regular... Uh, more so than regular Terraria, it's hard to get shark fins. I 
I would use a hunter potion now, but it'd feel like a waste. That's two gold. I don't really want to trash that. Get out of here, glow sticks. you guys offering? Tally counter? I actually need that. I thought I had... I thought I needed hard mode for that. Alright. Um... Shoot. Let me quick stack. Titan potion should probably go in there as well. Okay. Down we go. Is that the bottom? That doesn't look like it. There's definitely more down here. Oh. Sneaky. I've run out of keys. Ouch. Let's not run out of hit points. Alright, we can immediately upgrade our handgun. I'm pretty sure... Yep. 10 hellstone bars is the only recipe. Uh, Phoenix Blaster. 36 range damage and pretty damn fast. Unfortunately, it's semi-automatic, so getting that maximum speed is actually quite tricky. Forgot your gold keys? Forgot them. Are they on the ground or something? Dropped a bunch of keys in the room to the right where you found the chest with the hunter potion. Alright, that's not too surprising. Um, I'm not really going all in on guns right now. But... I'll definitely keep that. Murasama... I think that's the last piece we need if we want to make a certain sword, right? Uh, these three plus... Knight's Edge, I think it's called. Knight's Edge. Light's Bane is the start of it. Oh, that's different. Should have tried that sooner. Crafting, Light's Bane... Oh, that's it. Thought we needed one more step. Or maybe light, what we're upgrading this into is the step I'm thinking of. We need a demon altar, no doubt. I think our nearest demon altar is here. Knight's Edge. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to... Uh, I'm gonna have to give that a chance. Does it? No, it's not gonna hit enemies through the wall. Oh, wow. The coverage. The effect is beautiful. I love it. Probably a bit stronger than the bubble gun, too. 
Um, let's try it. Let's, let's first of all put this tally counter away. 46 melee damage is nothing to sneeze at, especially in pre-hard mode, indeed. And it hasn't even got plus damage yet. 8 gold to reforge. Unhappy. Demonic? I don't want to spend too much reforging this, so demonic's pretty good. Uh, 53 damage each. Alright, let's stack this stuff away. And... If only so that I don't have to think about it next time, I'll stack that there. Janonek, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Definitely selling Sun Fury. And... Bone Wand... Get out of here. Alright. Let's try this thing on. Oh, the... Oh, the lighting. I love it. Let's buff and buff. That's a lot of... Crumbly blocks. Please just get out of the way. I hate these things. Why are they so inconsistent? Just get out of the way. Okay, that's strong. That's so good. Wow. It, it feels like having a small piece of Zenith. I guess it's supposed to. I mean, it probably always was supposed to. Only more so now. Could you be persuaded to go away? Thank you. Fantastic. Is this just another path, or do I have to go this way? I think I have to go this way. Oh my god. I don't like this. There we go. That's... yeah, that was a complete waste of time. Good to know. Is that the end of the dungeon? It doesn't quite look like it. Even if they get behind me, they're going to get hit. Don't even have to think about what I'm doing with this sword. Hello, chest. Another bubble gun. That looks like it's more dungeon. It is. Uh, but I don't think we have a path there from here. I, it doesn't look like we have a path there from anywhere, though. Probably up here. A kingdom for a rod of discord. Ouch. That didn't dodge it. Up we go. Can you please crumble? There we go. Oh my god. I hate these blocks with all my being. Just be consistent. 
Why don't you? I still haven't made the void bag. That would definitely help. Doesn't seem to shoot down projectiles. It does, though. Maybe I wasn't pointing it in the right direction? No, it just does shoot down projectiles. Don't know how that other one got missed. What do we got here? Another mace. Don't care about a mace. And this doesn't go anywhere. Fantastic. Ouch. What's this? Danger sense? I'll refresh that. I think that's just a light switch. Yep. Alright, it looks like we've found our path down here. Oh yeah, I need a bookcase. Let's grab that. If I can possibly find some room in my inventory, that would be great. don't have any keys, apparently. Uh, I wonder if I even picked up those ones we were talking about before. Quick stack. That, that's a big help. Uh, but yeah, I can't... Oh, here we go. Golden key. And magic missile. I would be a lot more excited about that if I didn't already have flame lash. That's a lot of wire. Magic Missile does more damage than Flame Lash, I think? Uh, no. It's 48 versus 51, and Flame Lash hits twice. Although, I am curious. Yeah, it's got the same auto fire with the update as Flame Lash does. Oh, it's it. The poor thing's hurt. I need a key. Why does it keep hopping down? Stop moving. No, it's oh, it's alive actually. Um, I really want to open this thing, but if I, it's dead. Uh that's that makes me sad. Opening the first one of those is gonna have to wait. It seems friendly is uh interesting to me. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Ouch. Can we possibly get healed? And some keys would be nice, right on time. Now we need to pick them up. Quick stack. There we go. And more yo-yo. Don't need more yo-yo. Okay. Um, I should really teleport back. 
I don't think I'm going to go back to the dungeon today. Just about time to finish up the stream. Feels really weird having bubble gun in pre-hard mode, I have to say. Let's sell the spare shadow key. And... Watches and such. Cream soda is medium for 16. That's pretty good. What does magic missile turn into? Anything new? Nope. It's still sky, uh, sky fracture. Okay. And then food. Oh, I should do a little fish real quick. Foot in jungle. What's the time? 11 a.m. Easily done. Oh, I should check the mechanic. Um, she'll be selling... It depends on the phase of the moon. I think you've got like a 50% chance at any random moment that she's selling a much better fishing rod than the one I've got. Let's have a peek. Mechanic... Give me a fishing rod. Yes! 35% fishing power. Oh, it's about time. It is really about time that we had a better rod. That's a whopping 70% fishing power with this bait. Starting to look more like Terraria fishing where it takes like three seconds or less. There we go. Fishing potion again. I see how it is. Alright, let's sell this and sell that. Probably stack these away. Stack away the wire. Uh, find somewhere to put the cream soda because it's actually pretty good. Um, how much does it cost to re-roll this bubble gun? Probably just stick with the swords anyway. Two gold? I think I'll stick with the swords. Even wearing full mage gear. The bubblegum was doing a great job of keeping a bunch of enemies at bay, but Knight's Edge is going to be better anyway. True Knight's Edge. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what that's like. I always found melee pretty boring for the most part. But now I'm really interested. All right, let's stash these away here, just in case we have a change of heart. Can you fish in honey? You can. Uh, you, I, I believe there's only one thing you can fish out of honey, and it is called a honey fin. Uh, it's the highest heal per item that you can get pre-hard mode, and it has the same heals per second as 
restoration potions. Uh, except you can get these anytime. You don't need to uh, find a pinky slime like you do to make resto potions. However, uh, fishing in honey is a bit slow, to say the least. Um, it'll take you a little while to get like five or six. So I'd recommend just using them for boss fights unless you're incredibly conservative with your potion use. Like, more than me. Shame that it only hits up to three enemies per swing. Ah. Well, the bubble gun doesn't benefit from AoE either. All right. So we just need to clear out the dungeon um, and then do a bunch of free hard mode preparation. Normally, I would be like, if this is our forest up here, dig out a trench so that it won't get consumed by corruption or something. Um, but it's not really going to work that way this time. Maybe I still should dig out a barrier around some of our towns. Probably. Um, but yeah, we are basically at the part where we're just doing... Well, I just have to finish clearing out the dungeon, which is no big deal. And then we have to do pre-hard mode prep. I'll probably do that off stream and we'll be ready to face the wall of flesh uh, for the next one. I still don't have a magic conch so we can teleport to the oceans. That would actually be very, very nice. And I still don't have wings, which is a bit of a nuisance to say the least. Star Cannon could actually be a reasonable weapon in this game mode, since Fallen Stars are more common. Uh, that's what I thought, but then I looked at my star count, and it's like 86. Um, it's surprisingly low. Unless I've been stashing them somewhere else as well, but I don't think so. Star Cannon is good for, like, saving up for one boss fight. Or two. Uh, and it's not relevant for very long, so it's very, it's very, very good at killing, like, the Wall of Flesh. But since I found the Bee Gun Hive Pack is shockingly good against Wall of Flesh, um, I don't really think that's necessary. Maybe in Hardcore I would do it. Um, I hope they buffed the upgraded version of the Star Cannon, because... That was really disappointing. Like, very, very disappointing. They're really bad for wings, but they are wings. You can get fledgling wings. Uh, yes, I've been looking for those, but we couldn't find any. And I haven't fished up a single sky crate so far. It's actually quite difficult uh, and dangerous looking for sky islands. Because if we hit the top, as you can see right here, if we hit the top of the map, we just die instantly. Um, and because it's always pitch black, we have no point of reference, except for looking at the map. Um, so it's very, very easy, especially with the million harpies spawning, uh, to get bumped up to the top of the map and just die when we're looking for the sky islands. We found one, two, three, four, five. I think there's up to like seven or eight, maybe. There's still areas that we haven't covered looking in the sky. It's pretty hard to see, but you can just about see the path that I took there looking for sky islands. But we really have covered most of the sky. So 
so I think I'm just going to have to fish if I want wings. And at this rate, I'm thinking... Why should I even bother looking for wings? The amount of time it would take, we could just be in early hard mode and make them out of... Oh man, I didn't even think of that. Uh... Okay, earliest... Easiest hard mode wings to get, you just buy from the uh, Witch Doctor, actually. If you put the Witch Doctor in the jungle, go to him at night. He sells wings for, I think, one platinum or two platinum or something. Um, I think I might have to do that because Soul of Flight might be shockingly dangerous and difficult to get. I don't know what fresh hell awaits us on the surface in early hard mode, but I'm sure it won't be very nice. Make a crate potion? Um, crate potion is... Let's build a... Where's the crate potion? Oh, there it is, right next to builder. We need amber for that. How much amber do we have? Uh, do we have any amber at all? This is in here. Sturdy fossil. I don't think I have any amber. That's farmable, right? In the same way that gems are? Oh, would it be over here? I do have amber. I have five. Okay. Uh, before I make any crate potions, I'm going to make at least four of these into trees. And, oh, I've actually got a few more gem coins here. Let's go. Good call. I didn't realize the ingredients for crate potions were all farmable, actually. Crate potion. Fingers crossed we get more than one. We get one. And I think I'd like to use a sonar potion with that as well. How do we get a sonar? Oh! Rip bottle of water. Sonar potion. It's one of the big green ones. Coral and water leaf. We've got uh, a little bit of coral. I wish we could farm coral. A magic conch would actually make it relatively easy to get some more. Uh, we definitely have water leaf though. Sonar Potion. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, can we put our fishing potions together? There we go. Yeah. I'll, I'll do a little fishing. Well, probably a lot of fishing off stream. But the plan is basically be ready to do Wall of Flesh next time. All right, let's see who's streaming Terraria. And we got Sephi Glans. Anyone I recognize? Probably not. It's actually a lot of people. Wow. There's a lot of people streaming Terraria lately. Okay. Let's go for... Drunk Seed? Yes, I need to see this. I haven't actually seen this seed yet. Theoretically, you can get... Unlimited potions, unlimited potion ingredients by tossing them into 
shimmer tossing them into shimmer what does that mean is that new shimmer is a new thing they added okay cool all right thank you all for watching do take care and I'll see you next time. We'll be continuing with Oxygen Not Included in a couple of days. And a couple of days after that, we'll be back to uh, Space Exploration plus Crestorio 2 for Factorio. But for now, uh, stay safe. Surely my clothes.